Metal Slug. Mission start. So tell me about what is this? What are we watching? Oh, fantastic! And welcome to an OSW watch along, uh, where we welcome to a oh, fuck. I can't redo this because it's. Uh, we're live. Oh, yeah. Two take J. <laughs> Everyone's oh, gonna get to hear two take J. <laughs> okay, okay. It's gonna be fucking amazing. Mm. Welcome to the OSW Watch Along, where we chronologically critique this particular pay per view, second by second. This is your host, your very own Ghost in the Shell. Say hi to your guide, Jay Hunter. <laughs> Joined by V1 Sam. Oh, what's that called? Hi! And OSU Sam. Hi! <laughs> it's SWS WWF WrestleFest in Tokyo Dome, and it's coming up right now. Date is March 30, 1991. Ultimate Warrior had the world title in the intro, but Sergeant Slaughter was champion at this time? No, he had lost the belt the week before. To Hogan? Yeah. Uh-huh. So what's going on here, Jay? Like In general, do you have a oh, scar? Uh, um, okay, last time we did one of these, it was just after the X7 saga. OSW 55. Wow. In the days of the Yatai. Brilliant world. <laughs> Uh, with Hardcore Homecoming and IWA King of the Deathmatch. Wonderful oh. shows. <laughs> Literally the worst things we've ever produced. <laughs> <laughs> uh, put both of them on YouTube in 2020 and combined have over 200,000 views. So why not try it with a bit something new and a bit something familiar? Polkamania WWF on tour in Japan. Maniacs are gonna find out that Ichiban Hogan-san is still number one in Japan and Stan Hansen, the Western Lariato, is Nibon. Plus, it's something that we like. It's in an era that we all love and it's not hardcore wrestling. So it's not being picked so that we'd give out about it. So, you know, thumbs up. And I didn't have to do any work for this. Yay! Yay. (laughs) And you're still not. (laughs) (laughs) Quick question, what does SWS stand for? Oh, do you know, Steve? Uh, I'm going to guess that the W means world. Very good. Mm, That was the easy one. So it's either sports world of something or something world of sport. Okay. Oh, I like that. It's going to be superstars of world sport. Very good. Uh, Whoa! uh, Super world of sports. So very good, yeah. Yeah, close. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I never would have gone. (laughs) Hi! So the SWS, Japanese company, lasted a little over two years from 1990 to 1992. Its motto, straight and strong. <laughs> I'll give you a quick history on WWF in Japan. So through the 70s and 80s, WWF had a working deal with New Japan. They didn't kind of co-brand shows officially, they just talent swap periodically. Uh, so New Japan would get wrestlers in like Andre, Hogan, Legion of Doom, and they get kind of US promotion of their pay-per-views like the Inoki Muhammad Ali boxer versus wrestler okay. match. And then the WWF gets fucked over by getting those two lads over from me. <laughs> <laughs> What's it? Ten Ru and... Kitao, yeah. Kitao, yeah. that's good. it. Yeah, yeah, in 1982, WWF would bring in Tiger Mask, who was the WWF Junior Heavyweight Champion. Nice. That's their cruiserweight belt. And Tatsumi Fujinami, WWF International Heavyweight Champion. And of course, uh, Antonio Noki himself, who actually wrestled and beat... Bob Backlund in November 79 for the WWF title in Japan. But uh, WWF, uh, the reign is recognized and uh, keeping Backlund's reign over five years uninterrupted. Nice. Okay, I did not know that. That's actually really cool. Mm. Shoot style promotion UWFI restarted in 1989 to a massive boom, selling over 50,000 at the Tokyo Dome. Inoki, who's the founder of New Japan, was pissed and retaliated by creating a gigantic super show in February 1990 called Super Fight. He is just Japanese Vince. Like, other company has their show which does well, and then, you know, Vince will go, well, you have Starcade, here's Survivor Series. It's basically the exact same thing. It's very cunty, but in a way, I like your hustle. Hmm. Pay-per-view Super Fight was supposed to have champions from WWF, WCW, New Japan and All Japan all on the same show. But Vince pulled Hogan and then Turner pulled Flair, so it ended up just being New Japan versus All Japan. See, right before that, Vince was at an All Japan show. Mental, isn't it? 
and he announced his own super show, Wrestling Summit, as he called it, with WWF, New Japan and All Japan. And that went ahead, drew over 53,000 at the Tokyo Dome, despite it only being two months after Inoki's super show. Wow, wrestling was popular, lads. Yeah. So Inoki, he was pissed as All Japan owned the broadcast rights to the pay-per-view and then they cut out the New Japan matches. <laughs> a wanton act of carnality. What does this have to do with the SWS, you ask? Well, in 1991, giant eyeglasses company Megan Super signed All Japan Megastar Tenru as a spokesperson. But like, fuck that. Let's throw around a bunch of money, launch a wrestling company with him as a figurehead, and sign a bunch of New Japan and All Japan talents, and SWS was born. Megan Super were seen in Japan as money marks, like the Dixie Carter of Japan. <laughs> I suppose the panda energy of Japan. <laughs> Splicey picture of her holding on to Hogan's leg as he leaves. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, this reputation was solidified with their partnership with the WWF in March 91, which brings us to tonight. Nice. So the, r- the problem here is they wanted to get really big, really fast, and did no work in like setting the groundwork to make a federation sustainable or um, so you're get telling their own me, voice. So you're telling me that they are Warner Brothers and DC who <laughs> looked at the hard work Marvel did and went, I want some of that, but without doing the actual legwork. Yeah, pretty much, yeah. Yeah, cheeky. <laughs> Airing live on the Wow Wow Cable TV Network, yeah, W-O-W-O-W. It's March 30th, 1991, from the Tokyo Dome in Tokyo, Japan, with an announced 65,000. In reality, 42,000, with 25,000 paying. Ooh. March 30th, so six days after WrestleMania 7. Why was Vince so keen on this partnership over New Japan? He just saw dollar signs. SWS were backed by a major Japanese company and thought they'd get a ton of cash for these joint shows and sending talent over. How did it all end so quickly? It only only lasted for two years. Well, the Japanese economy nosedived in late 91. Megan lost interest in SWS and shut it down in 92. All In lasted 26 months, April 1990 to June 92. Um, I just wonder, why did the Japanese economy crash? Uh, the banks lent money that they couldn't get back, and the dollar versus yen, like, halved in value. Okay. And so equity and asset prices fell, and it's like, kind of compounded the problems there. Workers found work elsewhere. Tenru set up war. Yeah, war. What does war stand for? Uh, Wrestle and Romance. Oh, what an amazing name. The best name ever. And uh, WWF did do... So tonight we have SWS WWF WrestleFest in March 91, and they did one final show in December 91. So this is one of the two pay-per-views they did. Did they have a weekly show? No. They just did tours, and this is actually one of two dates they did. This one was on, and then the other one wasn't. We have a bit of scab at that later. <laughs> <laughs> this business venture doesn't seem like so, yeah. such a great plan when you hear that, doesn't it? So with all of our hot-dogging out of the way, let's start the show. Let's do it. Okay, we're about to start from the start again, Jay. Future Jay, here you go, mate. Three, two, You're a one. cunt. <laughs> I do like this music, though. Yeah, for all of three seconds. Yeah. Man, WWF Superstar is intro. Yeah, this is the 1991, because, yeah, Warriors champion here. Okay, so they've just spliced in WWF stuff on top of their pay-per-view. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Why not? Straight and strong. Yeah, that's their motto. Bit of Hogan promo. Lads, you know the way like, we talk about it all the time? 20,000 people, you know, 10,000 paying. I would be pretty pissed off if I paid a ticket to go and see a show and somebody sat down beside me and was like hey, fuck you I got this for free <laughs> yeah. I would never pay again it happens yep. all the fucking time where they've got this show on and the people and the hardcores buy their tickets early and then on the day of the show when they've got 8,000 tickets left they literally get people walking down the yeah. streets and hey would you like this free ticket yeah. mm. you have to wait till the show starts and then that's where you strike I'd never go, I'd never pay again yeah. um, ridiculous Oh, did you notice there's actually much better uh, visual quality here? 
I've done a bit of sneaky, uh, splicey, splicey, um, because this match is a DVD extra on the Brett versus Sean great, Greatest Rivalries DVD. Ah, look at you! <laughs> yeah. You're always sneaking in the stuff, aren't yeah. you? Especially to, to Ook. Yeah. Just if there's a longer version, I'll splice yeah, it. Yeah, I love it. <laughs> Give me more, Jay. So this happens two other times tonight, uh, but you'll have to wait and see. Big Ooh. flow. Ooh, it's the Rockers. It's Party Marty. Yeah. Our, our broadcast was televised in progress, i.e. starting with match four, then five, six, seven, an intermission, then here's highlights of one to three before continuing on with the pay-per-view so eight onwards to 12. Uh, so two hours, 45 total, and an in two halves. Okay, nice. So this is match number four, our WWF tag match. It's the Hart Foundation, Brett Hitman Hart, and the Anvil, Jim Neidhart, versus the Rockers, Shawn Michaels and Party Marty. It's kind of weird seeing these because wasn't like WrestleMania 7 the last time they tagged in the WWF? Like, didn't this team break up? And then Brett spent the rest of 91 going singles, which is why he wrestled like perfect for the IC title then at SummerSlam. Very good, Steven. Yeah, yeah, yeah. so he made, with the money he makes from this, he can sell for crack. <laughs> hey, Jim. Yeah, yeah. He loves a bit of crack. That are white robes. <laughs> <laughs> He'll never live it down. Maybe don't dress up as the clan member then. So, Nasty Boys World Tag Team Champions at this stage? I'm just trying to I think so. get my bearings. Yeah, yeah they won it at uh, WrestleMania 7 a week beforehand. Yeah. And they That's the one where Jimmy Hart, with, you know, with his shiny helmet, helped him out. Oh, yeah, the lovely <laughs> shiny he, helmet. He had his yeah. um, crash helmet. Oh, yeah, yeah. 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 So, like, Nasty's World Champions, Hogan just beat Slaughter for the World Championship. Perfect uh, as IC Champion. Yes. Yeah. Oh, Virgil is active currently that's right he had his get up dude get up. <laughs> never any more damn it Virgil <laughs> I love how he's turned into Vince over the years man Brett versus Marty Macho Man was yeah. retired by yes. Warrior yes he was by the way Mania 7 um, not a terrible card well the main event killed yeah, it really didn't yeah, it yeah it did but like as a whole looking back and I actually went back and watched like bits and bobs of it uh, I was like this mania is is actually not that bad for card depth mm. as a whole mm. it's not bad it's definitely one of the better early manias but like you said main event was yeah, yeah. was garbage that's all you well that's all I obviously the macho man thing but when I think Wrestlemania 7 I think Sergeant Slaughter and that's not what you want to be thinking Yeah. when you think about a Wrestlemania nice bit of double team action here yeah. um, I do feel a bit bad for Steve is like because you know I'll do my homework for this and it's like what can I get Steve to do <laughs> and it's like oh yeah here you go watch all of Superstars and Wrestling Challenge and uh, Wrestlemania 7 any TV from 91 March April I can get my hands on eh, here's six hours Steve <laughs> Jesus I don't think you could pay me to do that. <laughs> <laughs> Joke's on you. I'm not paying you at all. <laughs> I'm interested to see who like wants work in Japan versus who's on holiday in Japan. So it'll depend on how many rest holds we'll get. Oh, okay. Um, I would imagine that Sean and Marty would be all out for it, like thinking, Jesus Christ... If we can get some work over there, obviously Vince has some kind of working deal going on. So, uh, you know, the, the the door is open. Let's get some work. Let's make some money. Mm. And let's go get some steak in the, the most <laughs> oh, famous nice. wrestling steakhouse the in the Ribera world. The Ribera Steakhouse, yeah. yeah. I'd love to go there. I want, just left. want the jacket. Give me the yeah. jacket. Oh, because um, this is a, you know, half of it is in Japanese, uh, the SWS kind of at-home roster, we'll talk about it later. Um, I thought there might be a lull <laughs> in, in chatting and, you know, describing the pay-per-view. So, I've asked everyone on Nogger U uh, to submit a question for Ask OOC. It is an outstanding idea. Uh, you are a genius, Jay. Oh, wow, I got it on tape. <laughs> <laughs> Um, oh, here, this is for you. I got. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. There we go. I, 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 I took. I, uh, yeah. I, I look forward to um, answering most oh. questions. Is that the difference between Nordy and Irish Tato? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't think I've ever had Nordy Tato. Uh it's 
It's I'm good. Gu- you'll guess you'll be annoyed. Not as good. Yeah, you can actually taste the difference. Yeah, well. like you, I did a blind taste test whenever I was in Belfast. It's like oh. I'm very happy that there's Tato here, but it's like you're getting seventy percent of the goodness. Do you know what I mean? And you could feel, you could get it. You got it. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Fair play. They have more flavors. I'll give them that. Like yeah. here, I'll, I'll see if I have it on my phone. But as yeah. soon as I saw it, there's a vending machine with like lots of different flavors yeah. of potato. Yeah. There you go. A potato connoisseur. God help us. We're not helping the stereotype here. <laughs> <laughs> Stereotypes are there for a reason. <laughs> Do you want to expand on that? <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't. <laughs> no. I believe I was perfectly clear. <laughs> so this is about as close to live as we're ever going to get, Jay. Yeah? Yes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Too close for comfort. Mm, mm. We'll see what the editing has to say. Like if the... If the Show the pay per view ends up to be like two hours instead of two forty five. You know I'll finagle. <laughs> I miss selling of the. In- Where's the inverted atomic drop? Uh, we need more of that. Oh, man, I, atomic drop is one of the worst moves. One of the worst staple moves in wrestling. It does not look painful. It's like your bum is sore. It's a knee to the perineum. Yeah. You mentioned that to Nia Jax with her fucking whole gimmick that's going on the last few weeks but i thought she only said it once she said it more than once did she? yeah but then they drove it into uh, the ground. ruined it then yeah. Yeah. yeah sneaky heel maneuver by brett this is it's it's funny watching i know obviously this isn't the first time we've watched these two wrestle but it's been a long time since we watched these two wrestle in the early 90s it's, it's been weird. fucking weird just think how much they grow up to hate each other <laughs> <laughs> i think the last time that we watched these it was like they had a singles match at SummerSlam 93. But by then, Sean was heel. So I'm talking mm. about like early, like early yeah, days. Yeah. I like Sean's uh, highlighter wristbands here. Like he's got the whole post-it note. <laughs> <laughs> going on, like. <laughs> he didn't want to come in. It was like, you know, throw him against my boot and you stay in the ring. Yeah, yeah. Technically, that's a tag. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, nice. that was a nice bump. There, you get one. I'll tell you, as a big man, he's not even that big, but relatively big. Stout. Stout, yes. Nightheart, decent. Very decent. He can certainly move about. Yeah. He's great as a tag partner. I think he's perfect in this role. Yep. Yeah, like I, like, I can't imagine him ever working as anything higher than a low mid-card partner singles guy I don't want to see him in singles yeah you know he's, like, you he's know, a great kind of side man yeah and uh, he got the oh he didn't he wasn't in high energy he left and that's why Coco came in he should have been yeah. yeah we never got to see him in the poofy pants He, I thought he was he was, he was, he was in poofy pants at one stage that's on his day off that's his regular <laughs> club <laughs> Uku got a couple of um, questions for you um, I was thinking we could start off start off hot. Uh, Steve, would you mind uh, reading them? Okay. Greg Findlay asks, what does OC stand for? Out of character. I think I I might have mentioned this before, did I? Go on. Do you want the full story, Jay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just want the abridged version. So, Give me the in, Hobbit three-hour extended <laughs> thought. <laughs> in the very... In, at the turn of the century... And Jay and I were involved Jesus in, Christ. in a what were we? Eved. Eved. Yeah. Yes. An online yes. role playing game federation wrestling thing. Fantastic. A great time. Oh, geocities.com. One of those oh. one of those jobs. You know, flaming font. Yeah. So it was WWCW, wasn't it? Yeah, Worldwide Chaos Wrestling. Yeah. I'm pretty sure the site's still there. You can oh, probably yeah? still find it, yeah. If not, whack it in the Wayback Machine. Yeah. <laughs> well, if, if it appears on screen, then you know I'll find yeah. it. And anyway, so um, Jay had joined. He said, what do you think? I said, yeah, sounds like fun. Jay was quickly moving up the ranks. And I was doing decent role plays. There, there were some, I had some decent content. I'll dig it out. It's on the spreadsheet somewhere. Um, <laughs> and then <laughs> I was, I was, I thought I was doing pretty good uh, work. And they kept jobbing me out. So I used to go on the um, out of character board. So there's one form where you're in in yeah. character, and the other one yeah. where you're out of character. And I used to just give out. I say, "Why are you not 
giving me the belt. <laughs> Give me the fucking belt. This is, by the way, this is also the history of uh, World Bounce Rats. <laughs> <laughs> Our Bouncy Castle Federation. Yeah. You know, and then they got annoyed. And I think they contacted contacted Jay privately and were, were complaining about me. Or like, will you tell him to go away or something like that? There's one crucial bit of information we're leaving out, which is uh, whenever you started your win streak. So how did that come about? Um, I can't go into that. Can we? Can I? Why not? You can. Oh, man, it's controversial. Yeah. Well, we, we the- were like, whatever, 17 at the yeah. time. Go on. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> did you two team up and say, if you don't push me, Jay is leaving? I think no. Jay said that if you don't push OOC, I'm leaving. <laughs> it's fucking Brent and Sean. <laughs> it's fucking Diesel and Sean. It, it was we, basically what a yeah. pittance. We we cut a promo, so it's in the real board where we're like, at uh, the next time OOC loses, we're out. Yeah. And they wanted me as world champion. Yeah. So it was like, well, we're both going, and we're the reason this sport is active. <laughs> And guess who started the win streak then? <laughs> you fucking politics your way. <laughs> Did you become the like mid card champion? I eventually became European champion. I mean, I wasn't asking for the world title. I was asking. Yeah. I, I, was, <laughs> I was just give me the fucking that, European title. That was between. Yeah, that was that was our plan. Whenever uh, I get the world title, we're gonna book a promo where you come in the ring and then we'll grab a ref and then we'll go one, two, three. Yeah. Steve's the champion. One, two, three. Yeah. Jay's the champion. Mon- One, two, three. Steve's hundred time <laughs> champion. Yeah. Yeah, we're gonna ruin Killed the, the federation. Yeah. Amazing. Finger poke of doom. Finger poke of doom. Finger poke of doom. They were right to do so. <laughs> Finger fudge. <laughs> and then Jay was IC champion, and I was European champion, and we were tag champions. Oh wow! Yeah, yeah. yeah. So we, it was great. I mean, yeah. we we do we, not give us any power at all. <laughs> <laughs> It'll only go south. But so anyway, that is out of character is what it stands for. So I I was originally the Wolverine and because of all these shenanigans, I changed my name to Mr. OOC. So the name's been floating around for about 21 years. And you, you called the Crippler Crossface. That was the, the pain, right? Yeah, the yeah. pain, yeah. You had the... And, and the Rabbit Slam. for The, the Rabbit Slam. Yeah, the I, you know, I wonder what wrestler I was modeling myself on. <laughs> <laughs> Such a shame. Like, yeah, yeah. Hello, I am Intercontinental Champion Chris <laughs> Benoit. I'm pleased to make your acquaintance, sir. A lot of fucking headlocks in this match. Yeah. So you used to go around... Introducing yourself as Intercontinental Champion Chris Benoit. Yeah, like drunk though. Yeah. I was only when I was drunk. Um, did it work? No. Um, mostly got the reaction was mostly I uh, go away, That's you weirdo. Nice, like, like yeah. Because <laughs> <laughs> we were kind of like we just assumed everyone would know who Chris Benoit was because we knew who Chris Benoit was and we loved wrestling so much. So even if you like wrestling 10% as much as us, you, yeah. you know all about it. Yeah. Yeah. The high knee there, the Ed Leslie special. This is very much a um, house house show match. You, you, you can tell that they're in the post-mania lull. Uh, or the post-mania lull for <laughs> some people if they're doing all of the drugs. Um, so what was my finishers? I had, um, yeah. Yours was the four play, which was a uh, modified Texas clover leaf. Yeah, yeah, elevated Texas clover leaf. Elevated. Which is obviously their legs are in a shape of a four. And it was a kind of a lion tamer mix with. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But a knee to the back. Yeah, yeah. 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 And then we had a, you don't see this often, a tag team submission move, <sighs> which was the four pain. Yeah. Which was the Crippler Crossface and the Elevated Texas Cloverleaf in one. Genius. Mm. Which Genius. can only be used Look in a tornado movies. tag match. <laughs> 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 we can only be booked in tornado tag match. Yeah, <laughs> over leaving the Federation. <laughs> <laughs> I'm taking the belts with me. <laughs> oh, we should have done yeah, that. Yeah, we should have just taken. Oh, man. We could. Throw them in the trash and then take the trash cans with us because, you know, we, we also clean up. You know, we're also responsible. So due to technical difficulties, the remainder of the recording of this match has gone to the shitter. Yeah. So is this unsplicied now or is it still... Oh, it's from the DVD, okay. but I might put it back onto the SWS show. I'll, I'll see. You'll, you're watching the better version right now. I mean, even with all of the lines, it's not that bad, no. you know? 
It's like that nasty CRT filter that gamers use. I don't get that. Why games, Why would you actively games? want to make your stuff look worse? It's the same as people who are like, records sound better. And I'm like, you're dumb. <laughs> well, it depend- when they say records sound better, they mean the mastering is better. I it. like it more. Well, no, they're saying the mastering is better on it. Because someone you could have shitty MP3s that are... And that's just poor engineering. But, uh, yes, you're right. Um Technically, it's inferior, but if they have better mastering and it's not brick walled and you know turn the volume up too high, then the original vinyl can sound better. But that's just for laziness on the modern technology part. Okay. You know. Oh, there you go. There's oh, the geez, finish. That came out of fucking nowhere, yeah, yeah. didn't it? That's it. I'm losing the match, but I'm not really losing. Yeah. Like there wasn't an ending sequence there. Um. How oh, was there any kind of rockers? <laughs> this is a fine time to bring it up. Was there any rockers or Heart Foundation uh, build up ska over the last few months? So, this is the end of March 91. WrestleMania was a week prior. Um, what were these guys up to? Not much. So, in the month of TV. Oh, there, I spliced the back, see? Ah, nice. So, yeah, basically, in the month of TV that I watched, it was very much concentrated on Hogan Slaughter. You got to hear them cut promos every week. Warrior Savage. 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 A bit of a perfect boss man. Um, You got to see a bit of uh, Virgil and Million Dollar Man. Lots of like Heenan just being the absolute fucking king of TV. He was the the fucking best. But no, uh, when it came to these, not much at all. Um, I think we had one match. That was Sean versus Brett, and it was quite long, but then it ended in a DQ. So that's basically your build for this match. I want to shout out Wrestling with Paul, um, who... who <laughs> 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 He's ruined now. Um, all of his stuff was deleted in, I think, early 2021 from YouTube. He used to do compilation videos of a month's worth of promos, storylines of WWF shows. Um, from Wrestling Challenge and Superstars That's and stuff Steve's there. job <laughs> <laughs> oh. Promo Nice timing <laughs> Hey Steve that's right, Anvil. Let's get something straight right now. Japan's been waiting for the technique, the excellence of execution. Yeah, I've arrived. Probably the greatest technical wrestler to ever hit the oh, short still at this stage. And I can't wait yeah. to get to Kobe and show the world what the hitman can do. Mm. Ah, he just hot dog there, didn't he? He was like, they're a tag team, and it's like, I am the best. I am the excellence of execution. And it's like, yeah, see us tomorrow night. Which is why Anvil's the great backup guy, right? He, he doesn't, he, he doesn't need the limelight. Yeah. No, I, I'm pretty sure he'd be happy once he got his drugs. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, match number five. It's an SWS versus WWF battle. It's the earthquake. John Tenta versus Koji Katao. Nice. Fuck yeah! Bit of Quake Muffin. Would you not have take the opportunity to have a sumo match here? God Excellent. damn it, yeah. Especially considering that he was a sumo. Yeah, yeah totally, man. Oh man, there's a, there's a lot of ska about this. Um, just, obviously, uh, WrestleMania 7, uh, we got Tenru and Katao, they came over, they beat Demolition. Um, and they also had that backstage um, interview with Regis Philbin. Philbin? Philbin? <laughs> uh, the Toyo- Regis. Toyota. <laughs> um, and obviously at WrestleMania 7 last week their Earthquake with Jimmy Hart defeated Greg Valentine yeah. Gals Tank uh, we actually did have a bit of a weird build up to that match so we had uh, Earthquake having maybe two or three short matches during the month and in every single match there was this masked man who would run out and uh, hit him like give him a few punches, a few chops, headbutt, and then he'd leg it to the back. And I, I was watching it, and I was like, I'm not sure who you were because you're quite big, like you're quite beefy. And, beefy. Uh, but then I was like, 
he wrestles like Beefer. So, um, I don't know if it was Beefer. Is this the Mariner? Uh, he's, was, he's got like wood yes. uh, s- ribs, basically. Yeah, 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 that's one of his... Oh, yeah, yeah, it, yeah, it was Beefer. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Because the, the reason why I thought that is because Beefer has this move where he like does a jumping double chop. And the Mariner did that. And then I was like, that's Beefer. And he's in great okay, fucking guys. shape. You go watch it. Uh, Earthquake. Uh, so this tour, they're doing a couple of dates. They booked Quake versus Koji Katao here twice. Once tonight, once tomorrow night. Quake was supposed to go over on both shows. Problem is, Katao here, he was a great sumo. Legit former grand champion, Yokozuna. He gives a bonsai. Banzai! Uh, Earthquake was fairly successful himself as a sumo uh, in Japan, but he was never a Yokozuna. So Katao thought jobbing to Quake would be embarrassing. Oh, even though Mark. Even though he was a green wrestler, like he'd only been wrestling a year and a half. Quake is four years at this point. Uh, so this is their first match tonight. Uh, so let's just watch this. I, 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 so you have to lose, and I don't want you to lose. And I don't want to lose. It's like, I totally get that it was a different business back in those days and you wanted to keep yourself, you know, looking big and powerful and strong. But at the same time, you know, you're booked to lose. You do the job, mate. Mm. And you're, it's a wrestling match, not a sumo. Match. Yeah. Although you should get in a uh, big show. He'd be, he'd be in. The nappy, like. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he had no problem putting over Akebono. Yeah. Ooh, big show. Yeah, yeah. He's never had a problem putting over anyone. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so is this going to be like that famous, that amazing match, Anoki, and was he some kind of was some Polish guy in yellow tracksuit oh, bottoms? Oh, big fat fella! Yeah, that he knocks the bollocks out of. <laughs> yeah, I hope <laughs> right. it's like that. That Bill Bohr video where he's yeah, like talking yeah, yeah, about yeah. the match. Yeah. Wow, yeah. Oh, it's a shame that's been removed from YouTube because Has it's it? quite funny. Yeah. Fuck. This guy does not look like a sumo wrestler. Mm. Oh, he's gotten in shape. I wonder how stiff he. Here, have a look at these forearms here. Because I wonder, at what point is he going to try it out on Quake? Mm. It's kind of weird. It's like, I know that sumo wrestling is a shoot sport, but I'd, I'd never think of them as tough guys, as people who are talented fighters, you know? Like, okay, you're good at pushing me, <laughs> you know? Like, but, you know, does pushing work if I, you know... Well, wrestling all about leverage. Give you an you know? elbow to the face, you Well, know? that's, yeah, can they punch? Take a hundred hand slap. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Bit of test of strength. Steve, are you still doing test of strength in WWE? No. Oh, so I'm uh, currently playing Wrestling Empire on the Switch, mm. and I made Homeless V1. Nice. As you do. Uh, and my finishing move is a test of strength. <laughs> 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 that is so mean. <laughs> <laughs> you never win. <laughs> Has anyone ever submitted? No. <laughs> For test of strength. How would that even work? <laughs> I was just hoping that because I have it as my main move, yeah. that it might get some some kind of like buff. <laughs> or uh, no, no, I just I just, I just never win. Work. How would you tap it? Would you just have to say I quit? Mercy, <laughs> <laughs> mercy. <laughs> This is what I imagine when people don't really want to work together, is that there's a lot of just looking and sizing each other up until you fulfilled your whatever eight-minute time limit that you had to go anyway. But it's Quake that should be pissed off here, right? I mean, so so These far, really Dave, nice guy, like Dave, both being just working a yeah, yeah, 1978 fine. house show match. Yeah, yeah they, they look to be quite um, loose, I guess. Affable. Mm. Like, what's the opposite of snug? Airy. Mm. Airy. Airy. Being quite airy. Like, those are work clubs. Earthquake definitely looks, like, thinner than he... Oh! Oh! (laughs) The jumping kick! (laughs) It's jumping hard kick on Street Fighter there. It's pretty decent. <laughs> yeah, he's looking in decent shape. Isn't right. he? Yeah. Yeah. I still miss the proper 1990 earthquake. They missed the boat. I know we covered it before. They missed the boat on him. 
I think he's the one guy who, from going back and watching old wrestling for OSW, um, I had no clue as a kid how good he actually is. He was fucking brilliant. He's one of the all-time great big men, if you ask me. Because when you're a kid, you don't know who's good at wrestling. And you, you always wonder why people, some people stay and some people leave. So Quake was around longer. It's like, why did Nails leave straight away? Yeah. He was great. Yeah, he was. <laughs> Listen to his voice. It's yeah. cool. Yeah. Look at that choke. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and look at it again. And look at it again. <laughs> that was a nice jumping knee, by the way. A high knee. He's not getting a side of on. suplex, is he? <gasps> oh, oh, holy shit. Stuff, mate. Quake Muffin going up for this. So, lads, is it now that we sit John down and we have to chat about his dick fat? <laughs> here, John. Have a seat here, mate, yeah? There are kids watching here, buddy. See, this is the great thing about watching in, like, 360p or whatever. You don't get to see yeah, his yeah. jiggly dick fat. <laughs> Muffin topping out of his onesie. Oh, on. It's hilarious. I love with the kind of advent of the internet, we you know hear different stories about Earthquake and it's all him being like a lovely guy and a, a family man and stuff like that. And it's, it's really heartwarming. You know? mm. I've never heard a bad thing about mm. him as a person or as a wrestler. Mm. Yeah, he's out. Here we go. Tremors. Where's Beefer to run out? <laughs> Could you imagine if they brought him in over, bro? That was so yeah. safe. Oh, yeah. Two. Got it. Yeah. Found okay, it. Man. That was fine. I saw nothing yeah, here. Yeah, yeah. They, they, that was two pro wrestlers working a very light match. Yes. Asterix. Because like this is the first of two matches, and so you have the job again tomorrow night. Okay. So... Uh, all during the tour the lads backstage been staring the pot giving them shit about it <laughs> <laughs> as they fucking yeah. do so come tomorrow ding 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 Katow just shoots on him <laughs> like straight away <laughs> it's mostly a standstill like fucking try me you wanna fucking go let's it'd be get like um, Mossy versus Neo <laughs> yes really <laughs> really just sandbag each other to the ground um, that was very light yeah the match just ends with Katow kicking the ref for a DQ finish and he leaves the ring and he gets the mic and he's like, oh, wrestling is fake. <laughs> Fuck you. And Fire Russo. <laughs> <laughs> so immediately he was fired and blackballed from wrestling. Okay. Wow. Yeah. Go, you know, good. Can can you splicey that over this? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, you please. Get, did you enjoy the picture in picture there, Steve? Oh, the the half and half? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I love well, it. Yeah. Oh, there's quarter <laughs> yeah, there. yeah, yeah. Yeah, loved it. Wrestling is fake. That's brilliant. Oh, oh, promo. Promo, with the promo time, baby. Ooh, that's nice. I'm going to predict so. I predict he's going to start shouting now. <laughs> nah. I'm sweating. <laughs> <laughs> I love how he's always moving from foot to foot. Yeah. I beat Qatar tonight. And I'm going to beat Qatar again in Kobe. And I'm going to meet him anywhere else in Japan until he quits. Until he doesn't want the earthquake anymore. It fucking worked. <laughs> he did quit. <laughs> he just needed to shout, oh, Jack Tony. <laughs> All want. Man, it's so weird. Like, the Tokyo Dome is so big that even if you have 50, 60,000 people in it, it looks kind of empty. Yep. And it's so dark. I don't like it as a wrestling venue. It doesn't look good. There's, there's too much blank space around... It's too big. ...the, the ringside seats. Yeah. yeah. Jesus. Oh, right. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Match number six. Is Look at that. Does, does he have a gel knacker fringe? Oh, no, no, that's a, that's. Oh, that's his paint, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Woo. He painted a gel knacker. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, he almost looked terrible there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's got a bit of Chuck Norris and TNA. Oh, who's the guy, who's the guy not Chuck Norris? Who's the budget Joe, Chuck Norris in TNA? It was with Eric Young. He had a bit of this going on. And he dropped his nunchucks. Uh, oh, Danny Boner Douche. There you go. Look at the, the uh, rapier-like intelligence. <laughs> <laughs> Jay, is this your man that was in the, like, 94 rumble or 95 rumble? Uh, great Kabuki. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah very good, and Stephen. he looked like... Even though it was only like three or four years later, he looked about 20 years older. Like, <laughs> he Very looked good. Yeah. Like Golden Nugger winning. <laughs> <laughs> you know? 
Yes, yeah, so match number six is the SWS versus WWF tag match. Yeah, the great Kabuki and Takashi Ishikawa versus the WWF's million dollar man Ted DiBiase and King Haku. The WWF guys definitely seem like bigger names than these Japanese lads. Uh, that's just because you know them, Steve. I know, but like these the guys, eight of them, like, and also. they didn't go on to be someone. Yeah. <laughs> um, no, well, you might know the great Kabuki. Yeah, yeah, that's a name yeah. that I know. So at WrestleMania Seven, Virgil got his count out victory against Teddy Biasi. Can you believe that in that bit, like, like their angle and gimmick had been going for years, and they still wouldn't even put him over at WrestleMania. They're like, yeah, you can get a count out win. Mm. Um, I will say that in Maybe the Maybe they build, just didn't see a future with him. Like. <laughs> well, that's true. There was one great fucking Oh, Mike Yoda's there with his mullet. Oh, look at you like nice. his pink jocks. The fucking Roy might belly be and the, no, that's purple. just purple. the belly belly, yeah. isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> uh, so yeah, uh, in the build to Million Dollar Man versus Virgil, there was one amazing promo where Piper was out uh, cutting a promo battle against the Million Dollar Man and he gets Million Dollar Man to say like Virgil is a manservant and he's a dog and useless and has no talent and then the cr like the crowd are literally stamping their feet chanting for Virgil and when he comes out massive ovation he's so over and then they give him the mic and he has like one line Million Dollar Man at Wrestlemania I'm gonna kick your butt and he delivers it so badly that I can see that that was the moment where Vince said, fuck, we can't have him win. We can't push this geek. <laughs> <laughs> it, it was so, He won line and he completely fluffed it. He could have spent weeks preparing for that. And that's the best he could have come up with. It was really bad. I'm going to kick your butt. Like, he didn't even say ass. I think in, like, they must have known Virgil was no good pretty quickly whenever they gave him his new song. Like, whenever Jim Johnson submitted, here you go, what have you got? <laughs> Meek, like. <laughs> yeah, that's it. It's like, all right, yeah, okay. <laughs> He's like um, a kind of theme musical equivalent of a wet sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> lads, look at the bodies on these Japanese lads. Like, Steve, I tell you, the who, state of them. Who's alive 30 years later? <laughs> these lads. DBRC, is he dead? No, no, no. Oh, there you go. Actually, I think all four of these lads yeah. are going still, yeah? DBRC is not looking great. No. Yeah. I d I'm not a fan of them just randomly putting together DBRC and Haku here. It doesn't make much sense, other than their heels. Yeah. Yeah, he was with the Heenan family. Mm. Yeah. Uh, because after R WrestleMania, uh, hired gun, maybe? the Million the Dollar Man announced that Sherry was his new manager, right? Fantastic. Mm. And so, yeah. Like, where's she? Mm. I'm not paying for her flight. <laughs> <laughs> I do, like, going through WrestleMania 7, uh, like, you have Slick and Heenan and Jimmy Hart. And it's always like, I miss managers. It makes it so much more sporting and official, you know? Yeah. And just the whole gimmick of having... It's like the federation is made up of kind of territories and groups of people. Uh, it's very cool. It is better, yeah, definitely. Uh, I will say in modern day WWE, uh, for the past year, uh, MVP has been an absolute joy to watch. Uh, he looks great, like he wears his suits and he looks like someone that you go, this, this guy's a star. And then you see him there with like Bobby fucking Lashley and Shelton Benjamin and they all look awesome. And he's also a great talker. When he gets in the ring, if he needs to, he's perfectly great, you know? So that's one modern day manager that works well. And of course, um, Heyman yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. is, is great. Nice. Good punch there. But you've been talking about how great Lashley is for years, but he needs a mouthpiece. Yeah. Yeah, totally. Like, the days of him, you know, from, like, 2007 and eight, where he cut these kind of meek uh, Mickey Mouse voice promos. Yep. Like, 
I'm marvelous. <laughs> like, <laughs> look at my sisters. <laughs> <laughs> like that's gone, and he's much much better than that. But still, he's not someone that you can go out, give a mic, and he's gonna carry an opening segment. And so he he does need someone. Yeah. But he's got everything else. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's cool to see him get the world title in March 2021. Holy shit, it's been like 14 years since he was last yeah. a champion. And that in was WWE. Yeah, 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 yeah. championship, yeah, yeah. come on, you know. Fucking hell, 14 years, lads. Um, he was like a, I think like a two-time TNA champion. Yeah, yeah. He was a t TNA champion. I don't, don't know. If he what that. TV station were they on? Oh. <laughs> was that the TV guide station? <laughs> that doesn't count. Like, people always give me grief about who's <laughs> eligible for a boy and what's a world title. TNA title, not Yeah, if title. you're on the TV guide, if you're not even on the TV guide channel, you forget yeah. it, mate. Is that a thing? Yeah, yeah, literally, yeah. They are on a TV no, guide channel. No, they got channel. kicked off it. They're on Twitch now. So they were bought out by Access TV. And so they owned them and they, they showed them on their channel. But... It's watched by maybe tens of thousands every week. Yeah. And then they do show it on Twitch as well. So Twitch is watched by a couple of thousand as well. But wouldn't the TV guy channel... Like, I remember my... <laughs> it's the cable link where there's yeah, like yeah, 15 yeah, yeah. channels yeah. and they're in the bottom corner. <laughs> 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 For people tuning in. Um, but every 12 minutes, Jay, they're all the big <laughs> middle part. <laughs> <laughs> like my, my uncle lives in America. And I remember him him talk telling me that he just watches the TV guide channel wow. because he can't be bothered watching anything else. So probably TNA used to get a lot of eyes on them. I love those grantees. What do you think? They are hiking them, hiking them up there. <laughs> Ooh, can we get a couple of questions for OSC? Ooh, Ooh. We have some Simpsons questions. Uh -huh. Nick from Baltimore, uh, and also Luke Robson and Dave from Atlanta, Georgia. Oh, there's Greg the Gas Tank! Hey, hey! The Gas Tank! Fucking hell. Nice payday, mate. Mr. OOC, your campaign seems to have the momentum of a runaway freight train. Why are you so popular? Ooh, a tough question, but a fair one. Some noggers respond to my integrity. Others are more impressed with my incorruptibility. Still others by my determination to lower the bar. And the bureaucrats in the state capital can put that in their pipes and smoke it. Hey! <laughs> Go on. Uh, Joshua from Norwich. Uh, excuse me, Mr. OSC. Oh, so, it's pump, it's like, ooh, yeah, yeah. Excuse me, Mr. <laughs> OC. On the itchy and scratchy CD ROM, is there a way to get out of the dungeon without using the wizard key? What the hell are you talking about? <laughs> You're a lifesaver, OC. I can't deal with these hardcore smarks. <laughs> Sir Geo. Sir Geo. Geo. <laughs> Sir Geo. <laughs> you nice <bump> bang. <laughs> Dear sirs, I think OOC gets stupider every year. That's not a question, Professor, but we'll let the viewers judge for themselves. Hmm. Brendan from Derry. From Dory. Dar. Jara. OOC, you have been referred to as the funny one. Is that reputation justified? Yes. Yes, it is. <laughs> <laughs> Do you get this reference? <laughs> Go on. Yeah. Anthony from Sunderland. Ever see a guy say goodbye to a shoe? Yes, once. <laughs> <laughs> Jared from Auckland, New Zealand, and also John from New York. What do you think is the best season of The Simpsons? Um, four, five, six, or seven, take your pick. They're all Fucking perfect. Fucking hell. They're all perfect. Yeah. Season five for me. Which season is Scorpio in? Seven. It's the best. There you go. Actually, season six, because that has Treehouse Five, and that's my favorite one. Oh. Which is? The Shinning. Ah, oh, it's a good one. Yeah. It's a good one. A suplexer! Man, I, I can't get over this guy. Like, you shouldn't, like, look like someone's dad when you wrestle. <laughs> <laughs> you know? 
<laughs> That's just brain Vince brainwashing you, Steve. It's just not a good look. I, I, no problem. Oh, it's a real chair? I thought he'd get oh. like a wicker chair. <laughs> <laughs> like I have, Bamboo chair, maybe? I have no problem with someone if, if they're not jacked or if they're skinny or even if they're fat because Earthquake's fucking amazing. But this guy literally just has the worst body type for wrestling. He, like, he just looks like he sits on the telly... Uh, he, <laughs> is it warm? Like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it has to be a C or T. <laughs> yeah. The old radiation king. <laughs> <laughs> he just looks like he sits down watching the telly all day. <laughs> How old is this guy? He's like, <laughs> hands fucking mole man over here. Like, Come on. <laughs> I'm 28 years old. <laughs> Tricky is true in my life. What else you got there? Uh, nice back break. Josh D. Barnhart from San Antonio, Texas. Ho there! Ho there. Ho there. <laughs> and Chris from London, Ontario, Canada. The good London, you knob. <laughs> <laughs> well done, sir. Uh, top five Simpsons episodes. My top three are ingrained in my memory the critic number one number two is it's clown stinks, college stinks. and number three is the ice hockey episode oh. and then like I, I love mr plow lisa's first word and like there's so there's there's probably 50 amazing episodes that could go in there but I, I have a top three and outside of that it's just there's just too many to to think of what, what about you my favorite scorpio fucking adore that episode I think it's magic uh, second one is uh, when Homer doesn't want to go to church uh, I think that's a whopper Homer the heretic oh my Homer god Homer heretic yeah um, after that like they're, like there's so many that are amazing like monorail is great but like those two are head and shoulders over that's everything great. else for, for yeah, me for they're my two absolute favourites yeah I agree with all that it's tough because there's like four seasons where every episode's a banger yeah so it's like fuck Plus, there's some either side I of that I can't even tell well. you what season's the best. Like, yeah. you know, because there's very good arguments for them. Although I think I said six was the best. Nice. <laughs> so there you go. Um, but yeah, three has five. Uh, Luke from Whitehaven in Cumbria asks, what would you want from a final Simpsons episode? That's a great question. Wipe away the last 20 years and get the original writing team in. Oh, and for spend one last and spend a year on the episode. Do you mean like Dallas it? Like and uh, Homer just wake up. Oh my god, that was a terrible dream I had. <laughs> <laughs> Twenty two seasons. Like, obviously, it's not a the Simpsons into serial, so it's not like they have to reference anything that's happened. But like, I mean, whatever was in your head for the last twenty years, get it out of your head. Like, wipe the slate clean and go back to basics. Like, really put effort into it. Take as long as you need. In my opinion, I think you'd be best served building up to it, saying, okay, this this is our final season. It's going to build up to a movie, and the movie's going to be the end. Yeah, the, don't the, watch it like the last one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the Simpsons movie, it was great in parts. It was probably better than I expected it to I've be. I've only seen it once. I can't yeah. watch it again. It came between seven, season 17 and 18, so they were kind of bad for like eight years at that point, seven years at that point, so um, it's fine. You know, it's 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 fine. I thought it'd be worse. Be I honest. wish they made uh, Who Shot Mr. Burns as a film and said like if they made a film around season six, like, that's yeah. the yeah. strike. Awesome. You know? yeah. Before they all left to make King of the Hill and stuff. Yeah. Jay, any thoughts on that? Final. What they could do with the final episode? I was like, the rest of the family can all get guns and hey, Lisa. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why you hate Lisa so much. Everyone hates Lisa, surely. She's so annoying. It was like she only gets away with it because she's a little girl. If she was, you know, if they showed her when she was 40 or something, everyone would have a fair game on her. But yeah, she, but she drives storylines as well. She's actually Any useful. good ones? Bobo? No, that wasn't no. Lisa at all. <laughs> <laughs> she looks like Blossom. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, there you go. That was nice. There was a bit of a jump over, bit of a super kick there. 
And a bit of a penny penny. DBRC with a super kick. No, no, Haku. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he, he never gets his leg over. <laughs> Jitterfella had him in like a in a Texas clover leaf, and then he hit him with the kick. It was okay. Um, this match was very like. There's a lot of headlocks. Yeah, that, that seems it seems to be the way they're going with with this show, doesn't it? Oh, he brought his belt over. I wonder, like, would it be he could he couldn't. Uh, like wrestlers when they uh, travel especially when they have to take a flight they never check important items in just in case they lose their bags and they wouldn't have it. yeah so it has to be carry on so I reckon he'll have to wear it into the airport <laughs> my wife ruined the million dollar belt for me by the way she pointed out that the diamond dollar signs because they don't have the lines in it they look like little ducks and it's all I can see now. They it, do. The fucking ducky mm. belt. They actually do. I hate you, Carolina. <laughs> <laughs> the billion duck me. belt. Please don't leave me. <laughs> <laughs> they really do. Yeah. Little ducks with like ears. <laughs> Scott from Boston. Obviously, you're a huge Simpsons fan. Are there any other cartoons you're a fan of? Family Guy, Rick and Morty, The Critic, etc. I'd still quite enjoy Family Guy. I... You know, South Park is, is fine. And I gave up on Rick and Morty because it disappeared up its hole. Holy sh- It was so quick to do that as well. Like, just to shell out and, like, let's just name and drop every subreddit we can and get trending on Twitter. That sounds so lame. It's a shame. I, I've it's only ever watched it twice. Yeah. And I was like, it, it was okay. But when I heard what happened to it, I was like, well, now I'm not going to get into it. Mm-hmm. The fans are worse. But there's still a couple of excellent episodes every season so still worth a watch and uh, like Tales from the Citadel which I haven't seen just really really clever um, yeah so I, I'd be I still watch I've never missed an episode of The Simpsons or Family Guy oh. you know, Futurama um, Bob's Burgers um, you're big into your really, yeah. animated comedy yeah yeah mm. yeah I really enjoyed them Steve Anima- um, South Park South Park, I think yeah. South Park King overtook the Simpsons a long, long time ago. I, th- I think it's been the king of animated comedies for the last 15 years or so. Because um, for the last 15 years, it's the only animated show of these from the 90s that have a reason for still existing. Yeah. Because like, they want to they stay topical and current and have very smart, cutting social it's satire. It's really clever, yeah. It's, like, it's very, very clever. Like, I, I know that every so often there's a movement to get the lads in, in, in trouble because people don't think that things should should be up for laughter, but like everything is fair game. South Park is my absolute favourite. If they're not going to be caught out now, they won't be. No. They're grandfathered in. Plus, if you, you know what to expect, it's like it's South Park, so you just have to set the tone early on. Plus, they're really clever. Oh my god, is this, Oh yeah! Is this Warrior awesome. teaming with Slaughter or Warrior no, versus Slaughter? <laughs> the cafe being shattered. They won't even drive in the same car together. <laughs> this is awesome. This Look is, at Warrior. No, 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 Where's he going? <laughs> I thought he was attacking his specific hand there. <laughs> <He's> <laughs> See you! <laughs> That's so cool. There we go. So obviously, this is the Triple H Taker, your favorite type straight oh, from the outside. WrestleMania 27. Mm. Is it WrestleMania? It was yeah, WrestleMania yeah, yeah, yeah. 20. It's like instant <laughs> bell ring, roll out of the ring. It's like fuck you. <laughs> but I like at least like Triple H Cable have an incredible match. Where, like the Warrior, he can't, and Slaughter, he can't. So it's like this is perfect. Yeah, yeah, How fine. can the Warrior have a great match? He's gasped by the time he gets to the ring. And with the Tokyo Dome, the size of this place. <laughs> Call a taxi. Yeah. <laughs> taxi! <laughs> Pretty favorite name. Awesome. awesome. Uh, so yes, match number seven, a WWF grudge match. It's the Ultimate Warrior versus Sergeant Slaughter with a 45-minute time limit. Oh, oh can you imagine it? Uh, so a return bout from Rumble 91 where Warrior lost the world title so Slaughter could lose to Hogan at WrestleMania 7. Oh, that's right, yeah. Why did they not just build oh, back you're so up awesome looking to Hogan versus fucking Warrior rematch? Hogan would just did go they over just again. not want him to win? No, he'd go over. Yeah, which is fine, and then he can book yeah. to a yeah, third uh, yeah, big match. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's you know, Steve, spot on. It seems at this point they're not. Um, you could have even put the IC title on Hogan and had a like. Oh, that'd be hilarious. Rematch, rematch. Yeah. You know. Yeah. 
I, I think at this point they've just lost um, all faith in the Warrior after like Summer SummerSlam 1990. You know that whole his 1990 run didn't go well, so I was like, eh. was it SummerSlam 1990 where Warrior wrestled Rick Rude? Yeah, in a cage. Yeah, yeah. And it was at that point where I'm sure everybody knew. Oh, lads, mistakes have been made. <laughs> <laughs> because I think on that same show, Hogan wrestled Earthquake, and the fans were thunderous for that match because Hogan was over and Earthquake, Earthquake was over yeah. it was a hot feud and mm. people cared and then you had Warrior Rude and it's like I mean technically it was a better match because Rick Rude had his working boots on but like unfortunately um, work rate only goes so far and you have to care you know <laughs> work rate I know Warrior, warrior <laughs> but that like yeah, that yeah. was probably Warrior's best you know in, work, in ring match you know so I got Rick Rude's work rate yeah. Yeah. no no Warrior's as well Warrior's work rate <laughs> he has work rate can only go so far yeah. <laughs> Warrior the gorilla all position all <laughs> <laughs> just don't pass through the curtains <laughs> um, it is pretty big having Warrior over like you've got Hogan and the Road Warriors still to come you know, bringing oh, out the big Japanese one. table is. Oh man, is it? He's gonna break. Is it the no the the mini tables the <laughs> that the, the, the dining the, table? the, the Dudley tables <laughs> oh, oh no, that's the, chair, the, the little coffee table. Have you ever table. spliced in that the the baby table that the Dudleys were playing with? Listen, we'll splice it now. Thank you, sir. <laughs> That's not a table. That's a bench. It's a it's no. A it's a catering bench. No? It's no. It's where you do. You know, your wallpaper, wallpaper table. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alex from Springton, uh, if you could choose to completely forget one game so you could play it again for the first time, what would it be? Uh, I'm not going to say FIFA or Pro Evolution <laughs> Soccer because then I wouldn't be good anymore. So. You see, when you ask me non-sports related games, I struggle. But my favourite non-sports related game is San Andreas. So that. Oh, yeah. it's weird because that's, that's, that's my least favourite of all the G- okay. GTA's. It's the, it's the only one that I quit playing. There is so much you could do in it though. Like they GTA one and two. Like. Oh, the little they don't count. Yeah. Like oh, I, the plan view. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> they're, they're garbage. Yeah, well, <laughs> I did like how you could um, put in a CD of your own music, and so when you get in the car, it'll start playing that. So I put in WWF the Music Volume Two. <laughs> nice. Open, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. go in the car. It's <laughs> Vader. <laughs> yeah, I I remember on the Xbox version, you could rip your own songs, and, and they would be on the radio. Mm. Brilliant. This is GTA Three, right? Uh, so they brought out GTA 3 and Vice City Camel Clutch on the original Xbox in like a one pack yeah copy your own music it was awesome oh what game could, would, if you forget I mean like Last of Us to play that for the first time again would be pretty fucking great God well, of I've War I've never played it I've never played that so Metroid I Prime never played that Ocarina of Time don't like Zelda man like they're the first ones that come to mind. It would be some kind of plot-based game, like a single-player yeah, yeah. epic. You're big tale. into that, like, cutscenes and shit, yeah. aren't you? Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. God of War, seriously. Oh, what a game. Man. Sergeant Slaughter dropped that title at WrestleMania 7 and he just did that to the bottom of the card with you, you fucking peasant. But he was old at the time anyway, right? Was he even over in, in like 1991? No. See, the problem with Gulf War had ended before WrestleMania 7, so that really hurt it. Like, because whatever topical thing you're trying to do, it, it's in the ground now. My God, speaking about that war and that WrestleMania, Hulk Hogan on the go home show for WrestleMania 7 cuts like technically it was a good promo because he because he gave it socks but it was a grating promo if I've ever if I've ever heard one like Hogan is there he's like yeah brother and I'm gonna go in there and I'm gonna use these two 
not pythons, the two biggest patriots, brother. And we're gonna throw scud missiles, and I'm gonna do it for the big man upstairs, for God, for country, for the flag, for all my brothers and sisters who are in the army, who are overseas in the Middle East, keeping the peace, and for all the little Hulkamaniacs, especially the ones who were taken too early to the big man upstairs. Ah, uh, no, come on. And I'm like, it's a Hogan thing. This is horrible. Like, like, I can see why people would have turned on him because it's it's completely over the top and it's in quite, like, it's quite bad taste, you know? He's talking about young, like, Iraqi children, basically. Uh, just, I'm, I'm going to say he's talking more about the Americans. I don't think he cares about the kids <laughs> over there, if I'm being honest with you. Yeah, he was just talking about the troops there, was he? Hulk Hogan. Yeah, yeah. He just spent the whole bill talking about the troops, the war. He talks about Scud missiles every single week. What's a Scud missile? <laughs> what about a Spud missile? <laughs> what about them? <laughs> That's what we we have over here. <laughs> we just lob potatoes at people. <laughs> Wow, wow. I fucking smashed him. Um, I think that was short and sweet. It was short you know? and sweet. It was actually, in my opinion, it was the most heated match of the show so so far. It, it was. There were fuck all headlocks in that match. Uh, it was the, it was like Goldberg, Lesnar, WrestleMania 33. Slaughter Warrior. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, 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 yeah. In, in the same kind of idea, yeah, yeah. And a sprint. Yeah. Mercifully short, yeah. Oh, he's running away. So having um, Warrior and Slaughter, that was pretty big. Um, having Warrior and Slaughter, it's pretty big. Um, bringing out big guns because WCW New Japan just held their first Cobra and Super Show, Starcade in Tokyo Dome, nine days ago. Uh, hmm. One of the few WCW pay-per-views not on the WWE Network, sadly. Um, that has a whopper title for title bout where Tatsumi Fujinami, he beat Ric Flair. For the NWA title. I was like, yeah. But uh, to Americans, uh, that's not what happened. <laughs> um, they just said, uh, Fujinami, he was DQ'd for throwing Flair over the top rope. And uh, Flair keeps his build. Flair's lost it a few times and it was never counted, right? Yeah, it's very sneaky. Over the years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But I, I bet you he counts it in his world title Right. Yeah. He's he's actually a twenty time world champion from this losing and getting it back. And, you know, it's only 16 WWE. That's weird. You get me. If you're, if you're just wondering... Um, the Japanese press or WCW and A-Hall about doing that kind of fucky finish. Uh, fun tidbit. Luger was supposed to wrestle at that show against Ricky Chosu, but he pointed to his contract and said, uh, I don't have to wrestle in Japan. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. So he didn't get on the plane? No. Yeah. The more I hear about Lex as a businessman who's willing to not put his body on the line for things that he doesn't have to, the more I'm like, you know what, mate? Good fucking for you. You know? Mm. Very impressive. Make as much money for putting your body through the least as possible. Yeah. Um, so this, you can see here, just looking at the crowd, and there's nothing going on. It's an intermission slash undercard digest where we're going to give you highlights of the first three matches. See, we started with match four with the Rockers and the Heart Foundation. And then we got this. Man, if that was the match that they kicked off with, I can only imagine what the undercard was like. <laughs> <laughs> Let's find it. We have this fella's da versus this fella's da. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, did you see Ultimate Warrior running off there? The the victorious baby face running off and leaving the off. complaining heel in the ring. There <laughs> <laughs> we go. Undercard we go. digest. So, someone's there. <laughs> Oh, you know what? I actually that like that cell. That was awesome. Ah. So this is match number one, an SWS eight-man tag. I'm not going to attempt these names, so I'll oh, just... Go on, do, uh, it. Put do it. Steve, you have me out here instead. Uh, Samson Fuyuki. It can't be Samson. Tatsumi Kitihara. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Masuo Orihara. Apollo Suguara. No. 
versus Goro Surumi. Goro Surumi. Don Arakawa. Kenichi Oya. Oh, yeah? And Fumuhiru Nikura. Yeah, that's pretty good. Much better than I would have done. Baumgart. Baum, Baum. Um, so if you're wondering here, uh, so this is just an all kind of SWS talent match. Uh, SWS's roster is made up of kind of two branches, their own and then visiting wrestlers. And um, their own was divvied up into three groups. So mostly all Japan alums, the revolution, mostly new Japan. I, I, nice gear with the onesie and the gloves. <laughs> we are live. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so, uh, SWS's roster divvied up into three groups, mostly All Japan alums, like Revolution, mostly New Japan alums, Geki Dojo, and Neutrals, Palestra, run by heel manager K KY Wakamatsu. KY? Yes. <laughs> Fantastic win there. There we go. There we go. Ah, uh, my fella lost with the onesie and the gloves. Yeah, but somebody's dad won. So <laughs> <laughs> That's all is right in the world. <laughs> Um, tons of overseas talent came by, um, stopped by into the uh, SWS here, like from ULL, like Ultimo Dragon, Mexico, like El Dandy, and uh, from the US, like Jeff Jarrett. Ooh. Nice. But of course, most of them from the WWF. Ah, look at the splicey. Who's that? Our world tour continues with a stop in Tokyo, where Hacksaw Jim Duggan goes against Japanese strongman Kendo Nagasaki. Kendo Nagasaki. Dear, that's Lord Alfred Hayes. Mm. It is. Mm. Lord Alfred Hayes, this is indeed the World Wrestling Federation. Uh, I've done a bit of sneaky splicey for this one. Here's something else, Jay. Because it's a Coliseum exclusive. WWF World Tour 91, which is on the WWE Network. Uh, Lord Alfred Hayes and your boy, Sean Mooney, doing dubbed commentary. Oh, Kendo Nagasaki. Is he the guy from World of Sport? Yes. Yes, well done. Yes. Ah. So he's not Japanese at all, right? He's from like Wigan or something. <laughs> <laughs> Blackpool. <laughs> Easy payday for Duggan at WrestleMania 7 last week. Uh, he was just on commentary for the opening match. Uh, all he had to do is get dressed up as uh, Uncle Sam. The whole get up. Oh, right. He looked great in it, I have to say. Granties? Yes. Oh, he does he's always had big pants. Yeah. yeah. Richard, Richard, like, isn't it? He's just... <laughs> <laughs> so, Steve, did you watch um, World Sports when you were younger? I didn't. At all? No, and people used to... Uh, when I said I, I like wrestling, they are like, oh, Big Daddy, <laughs> Giant Haystacks. <laughs> giant haystacks. Like, Who the fuck are these people? Mick McMahon. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> did you? I watched some of it, yeah. Um, I believe there was a young Funley in world of sports yeah 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 very good yeah nice uh yeah uh, i i definitely watched it like i wasn't like a hardcore fan who'd get up at like eight o'clock in the morning to to watch it every week or anything but if it was on the telly i'd watch it um it was very different it wasn't great um this, this kind of like r r you know round based system and it's very much we're gonna get on the mat and then gonna hold your arm uh, and you're barely going to sell for two or three minutes mm. at a time. Duggan's in good shape here. He's acceptable at, at the time. He is. Like, he's never in amazing shape, but for him, he was in really good shape here. He's just a really big dude. He'd batter you. Yes, yes, yeah. he he's would. He's huge, like, really tall as well. Like, he must be, like, a shoot 6'4"-ish. Mm -hmm. um, Jay, world of sport, yay or nay? Uh, not for me. Mm. No. I think, uh, like, when I was Mark in the 90s, I was looking at Power Slam, and I was like, the pictures aren't as nice. Give me WWF magazine. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't I miss wanna, Power I don't Slam. I don't want to know the scoop. The internet kill, just killed all these fucking mm. magazines. Like, I used to buy Power Slam and Games Master on the same day every month, and I used to keep the two of them in the toilet. <laughs> And then, <laughs> <laughs> what? And the then, mag, yeah. every time I went into the loo, I would read through the magazines, and I'd read them cover to cover, multiple times in a month. And then, when the new ones came out, like they'd get dumped, and then I'd buy the new ones. And yeah, I fuck, I, I fucking loved it. And I bought them up until like 
2012 ish. Yeah. And then it was just like, it had gotten to the point where I'm just reading things that I watched on the net weeks ago. So, you know, like, kind of killed it. That made me sad because I read those magazines for, for years, like 20 years probably. Hmm. I lost you last night in the Ginza. Sean, where oh, were you? Oh boy, what a tremendous... Well, this is my first trip to Tokyo. I'm trying to take it all in and... I try to take uh, could you like get a couple of OSW questions for us there? We'll check in with the Nogger U lads. The Nogger U lads. Uh, the Cheat 420 from Buffalo, New York. Uh, fuck, Mary kill. JV1 Matthew. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, not that you have question. to answer it. I, there is absolutely no way I'm answering that question. Think of it this way. S- two people are going to be offended. And one's going to be really creeped out. Well, you're going to kill Matthew. Yeah. I wouldn't I wouldn't kill him. Yeah, you'd have to marry me as well. You'd probably marry, yeah, you'd probably I'd, be a marry way, I'd be a way better wife. And you'd probably give me the length. Like, yeah. you know? <laughs> like, <that's good. laughs> I don't know, Steve. Go, yeah, why not? <laughs> Oh, that was good old there he is. That was quick, wasn't it? Yeah. And we were watching the extended cut here. Oh, oh yeah, it's the Peter Jackson. <laughs> <laughs> Hacksaw lost the match. Yeah, yeah, there you go. Don't worry, don't worry. We'll see who gets who's back and whose theme plays at the end. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> here we go. Here we go. And now brawl to the back, mate. <laughs> There you go, one of four losses in his career, you know? Yeah. Although it didn't happen on American TV, so you're grand. You He's know? a proud American. That helmet's awesome. It is oh, cool, oh. isn't it? Although it, do- it does look like something that you could pour your pasta into to let <laughs> <end> it drain. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't. And certainly, Hacksaw doesn't understand Japanese, although that was a really stiff karate kick by Kendo Nakasaki. Uh, Connor from Glasgow asks, Hi, OOC. Loved the most overplayed moments. So my question is, what's your favourite wrestling moment that you feel is underappreciated or underplayed? That's a great question, Connor. Yeah, thank you. And you got a lot of love for your... Um, yeah. Most overplayed moments in history. Yeah. Surprisingly. Yeah, I was shocked. Yeah, yeah, everyone yeah. was like, yeah, fuck these things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I, th- I thought I was going to get a lot of hate. A lot of people were complaining that you didn't mention the screw job because that's been overplayed today. Yeah, I, like, I don't have... I'll just, I'll just give some of my favourite moments. Like, they're not, they're not necessarily underplayed or underappreciated. These are just some of my favourite moments. Uh, Y2J's debut in WWE. Fucking incredible, yeah. 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 The lame dick. Yeah, yeah, got a, got a lame dick. dick, 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 dick. Yeah. Um, I love Goldberg's debut in WWE. Harry or? Potter coming out of here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so match number three is an inter-promotional tag match. The SWS's Shunji Takano and Shinichi Nakano versus WWF's <gasps> Demolition. Oh, nice. Smash and crush. Ah, uh, not Axe. Okay. Mm, yeah, yeah. Um, sorry, go on. You're more underappreciated. Um... Not, but they're not. Again, they're not underappreciated. Uh, Cena's return at the 2008 Rumble. That was awesome. You were there live for it, weren't you? No, 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 no. We, I was here. Oh, right. Watching it you with you lads. Live, right? um, I, I saw him win the 2013 Rumble live. Huh? Um, Even uh, like wrestling fans who were jaded at the time, who hated Cena, marked yeah, out yeah. to that moment. Including you two. It was brilliant, yeah. yeah. And then he started throwing punches. It was like, <laughs> ah! <laughs> <laughs> Y2J beating Triple H on Raw for the world title. Oh, that was that, huge. That was yeah, huge, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. That never, that Just was, finished. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a shame. And I'll tell you which, I don't, again, it's probably not underappreciated, but my favourite spot in wrestling history, Elix Skipper walking along the cage to do the Hurricane Runner. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, I think we put that over. Have we? Okay. okay. It's a phenomenal spot. Let's do it one more time. Yeah, yeah. it's awesome. <laughs> Lads, lads, I'd be interested in anything that stands out in your bonses. Trying to say, is there anything from TNA? Because we were such big fans of TNA at the time. Uh, I'm, I'm going to say the Angle and Joe showdown where, where Joe gives him the loaf. Mm. Great was, moment. I was just about to say their kind of MMA style match in yeah. Lockdown 08. It was so yeah. good. Obviously, uh, made that mafia run. Oh, Frank Trigg! <laughs> 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 he just does, obviously. Yeah, the the whole episode of uh, Impact with 
with yeah, the Black Snow and Chad. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 that entire episode. Yeah. <laughs> Booker Gold. T getting into the ring for a beatdown with a microphone yeah. commentating on his own beatdown is fucking fabulous. Yep. Great stuff. Brock Lesnar Brock party when he won the uh, Money in the Bank and he came out and he did his dance. Love that. Mm-hmm. I put it over really hard, but obviously um, King of Ring 2002, Tess versus Brock Lesnar. They just kicked the shit out of each other. It's brilliant. It's one of my favorite hoss matches Tess ever. Tess was really angry that like Brock Lesnar, new guy, he's coming in straight over him. And it's like, well, fuck you. I'm going to kick you in the face. Then. <laughs> was there ever a moment in that match that you thought Tess would win? No. Okay. <laughs> no. It, it was, they were rocketing Lesnar. But uh, like, you, I won't let you go easy. Mm. Uh, do you remember the ladder match that they had on Raw between uh, the Big Yard Taker and Jeff Hardy where <laughs> Taker yeah, destroyed yeah. him yeah. but still put him over like really hard mm-hmm. that was great the Big Yard Taker <laughs> <laughs> the Big Yard the Big Yard <laughs> obviously we're, we're big proponents of sh- uh, Devil's Advocate Sean O'Hare yeah oh never happened yeah. what a Mordecai. strange mm-hmm. name Morty. I don't know. I, I don't. I don't yeah, think yeah, that yeah. he had legs so much. And they, so the the gimmick was great. The promos were awesome. Then they put him in a fucking match with Bob Holly. Dead. But Sean O'Hare had everything. Mm. There, he ticked every single box. Yeah. Do you think the gimmick was too big? Like it's either you put him in a world title or not at all, kind of thing. No. Like he can't be a mid card dude. I think you can work yeah. your way up with that. Yeah. I think from everything that I heard, he like he wasn't the greatest person. Mm. So do you mm. think that kind of that held him back? That that they were like, lads, we can't push this fella to the moon because you know he, like he's gonna do something stupid. He's an asshole. Basically. Yeah. yeah it's shame. Well, and then they put him with Piper uh, oh, and then killed it. Come on, <laughs> whatever you can. <laughs> if you weren't gonna die anyway, that theme song will do it. Uh, Kyle from Indiana asks, how often do you mark out to your amazing song of Mice and Men? Mm, mm, and Amen. Men. Um, and hourly, probably. <laughs> 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 hourly or hourly? Ah, orally. Mm-hmm. <laughs> We're live, pal. <laughs> no, it's great. I love it. Love it. Oh, there have we some questions for books. Uh, Darshan from India. Mr. OC, I loved your book reviews of Justin Roberts and Bruce Hart. Which wrestler did you like the most? And would you please do more book reviews? Thank you. Um, wrestler book will be Brett. And wrestling book, there's uh, two that I love. Ring of Hell and Death of WCW. Ring of Hell is a miserable read, but it's a very well written book. Mm. Yeah. Death of WCW is great. I love that book. And why do you like Brett so much? Uh, it's it's a story I wanted to hear, like as in from birth to whatever it was present day at the time. But you get one chapter for the birth and the <laughs> yeah, no, he, <laughs> most of that was cats <laughs> pissing on the ground. No, he goes into the right amount of detail. He's got an incredibly interesting story, an incredibly interesting career, and he writes it well and spends the right amount of time on on all the the important things. And he's not he's not what's the word sucking up to WWE. Which most books, most book, most wrestling books are. Yeah. He doesn't give a fuck at the time. Okay, uh, Graham from Peterborough, uh, also not from oh, Wicklow. Oh. Uh, oh. Fuck! Oh, it was safe in the end. Shin to the back of the head. I'd be shitting myself there. Uh, you know, obviously, like the end wasn't that bad, but. Whew. Um, Steve. Uh, yeah, Graham from Peterborough and Niall from Wicklow asked, "What wrestling books would you recommend?" Uh, the very same. same pretty same, much the same though, yeah absolutely uh, and Ed, Ed from Boston Shane from Durham and Jake from Lockport New York uh, ask not necessarily wrestling but your favourite and least favourite novels that are considered classics that is ridiculous like considering 99.9% of the oh books. here we go here's the finish oh. big elbow yeah. Oh, not no. bad. Yeah. Oh, you got oh, him in a smash face yeah. as well. There you go. <laughs> that was a trash match. <laughs> Crush is, uh, like, he's not in the best shape there. Like, he's huge. And so he can kind of get away with it. But, like, like 
cover him up, you know? <laughs> <laughs> He's got, like, yeah. teacups <laughs> over his nips, like... Could, okay, say you're in... You walk into the office on your first day. Uh, Vince hands you those outfits. What, what do you say? Is, is he, like, unwrapping it out of plastic, or is he, like, fishing in the bin? <laughs> <laughs> You can't lead with that. You have to <laughs> gently, you know, drop people deeper into that. For day one, no, no, you're Even having a laugh. Even worse, yeah. you're having he, a like, <laughs> Vince brings you over to the corner of his room. He goes over to his bookcase and he pulls back one of the fake books <laughs> and opens up some hidden door. <laughs> and you go in there and there you have S the M. fucking gimp suits just waiting for you. <laughs> you do not let that door close behind you. <laughs> Axe is in there going... <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. Um, is there any, any books any not? Oh, 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 shit. <laughs> <laughs> is he an ape? He's better at just making noises in the background. But like both of you can't do that. You know? I hear you will join the next SWS tour uh, in the near future. Yes, sir, that's right. How do you think about it? You're looking at Crush! What he's gonna do? He's gonna get anybody out there and crush them. And I'm gonna go up on top and I'm gonna smash them right in half. That goes for any tag team. What you people in Japan are gonna learn is demolition means respect in America and especially Japan. SWS, <laughs> any stinking tag team. We're coming at you. Tell them! Tell them! These Japanese fellas have a great crack. Look at these mentalers over here. Why is Crush, why is he speaking as if he can't speak English fluently? <laughs> <laughs> I'll speak like louder <laughs> and slower. It's and like uh, Steve McLaren when he, was, when he became manager in the Netherlands and he put on the Dutch accent. Did you ever see that? Incredible. What is it? He became manager of FC20, I think. Yeah. And he was doing an interview for Dutch TV and he was like, you know, putting on the... This is uh, very Steve, special yeah. to be here in, <laughs> in the Netherlands with FC20. <laughs> We're going to win the Eredivisie. <laughs> it's brilliant. It's going to be very special. It's fucking incredible, the cheek. Steve, uh, so any non-wrestling oh, books oh, that you consider classics? Any non-wrestling books that I've read? Or like, like or, or, or dislike? You, you know... I'm an avid reader of wrestling and football books. <laughs> of men. <laughs> do you, like, come on. Obviously, I haven't read a classic since I was in school, for fuck's sake. Like, I want to say, for me, um, I read Catcher in the Rye because it's one of those books where you hear uh, all about. Uh, it's awful. Uh, like, even as an angsty teen, I think I would have absolutely hated that book. I just thought it was lame. Oh, thanks for giving me a lend of uh, Carlology. Uh, Carl Pelkins in his book I've been reading out and you just read it in his voice mm. but I'm annoyed that he doesn't write in his voice as well because mm. he has the same thoughts but it, you know his spelling is correct you, know? you think he should just have like a text to yeah, whatever actually, speech to text it should be an audio book because yeah, 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 yeah. I yeah. would have loved to hear him um, talk about it. it's brilliant he does the drawings for it as well so. uh, I did read um, Heart of Darkness before mm. it's a really good book but it's like it's like written so you know flowery that like that's the wrong word but like um it's very much like a reader's read you know what i mean so i was eh. as I, I, I was the same like i i i read the odyssey and iliad and oh my I, God. I, I, I was just like it's too much work i just want to read a book and be entertained i don't want to have to you know figure out the riddle of the oh, oh, language yeah. that he's writing oh yeah, yeah let's fucking do this sws versus UWF battle shooting rules Naoki Sano with KY Wakamatsu KY versus Makas Makakatsu Funaki with Yoshiaki Fujiwara newborn UWF Fujiwara Gumi Ooh uh, Fujiwara is that who the So Sano versus named after? Funaki Yes <laughs> No <laughs> <laughs> Check it up on the screen So shoot shoot match here Real shoot match or work shoot match I'm going to guess work shoot match this does not look like a real fight. 
you don't wear kick pads in a real fight because you want to hurt them as much as possible. Okay. Maybe just let's present a more grappling yeah. type thing. But I do like this. So far. It's very different. If it goes on another 15 minutes, you'll probably like it less. <laughs> <laughs> but I do like uh, watching actual like MMA and uh, ju- ju- jiu-jitsu. Like, say, like holding each other for a round. Bit of 69ing, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm thinking, is this like where they wanted to take Brawl for all? Oh God! Because that was here is just shoot fight. By the way, I think bit of boxing. I think if we did that as an arc, at some point it'd be great fun as well. There can't be that much material on Brawl mm. for all. Like it was, <laughs> it was a few matches on Raw for yeah. the lead up to Raw 14. Yeah. Yeah, so it was a one off. Yeah. yeah. Just kind of cut out the matches and then watch the pay per view. Well, uh, we could watch all the Brawl for All matches, like the tournament. You nice. know what I mean? Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah it sounds like the well, kind of thing you... Yeah, I'm happy to do it. Like, if we're doing a WrestleMania 14 arc or something like that. Mm. It's a lot of uh, holding of the leg. Mm. Bit, a bit of this. I'd, yeah, I'd imagine Brawl for All is a lot of, you know, sizing each other up and walking around and... Slobbingly haymakers. Yeah. Mm. But you will get to see... Uh, Jubble get sparked. Yes. Ooh. So you know you've sold it. That's a positive. Yeah. I think Steve Blackman was injured for it. I me- remember that making me sad because like this is when Steve Blackman's mm-hmm. gonna do it because he Finally. probably would have won it. Yeah. I think they is one of those things where they didn't want like him like two real fighters like Ken Shamrock or Dan Severn. They didn't want them to actually touch each other because they just go batter each other. And uh, didn't plus, want I've seen them fight. Uh, it was it's like one of the worst UFC main events ever. Like they literally just lay on each other for like mm. forty <laughs> minutes or something, yeah, which is very different. Than what we're <laughs> <laughs> oh, these lads are at the very least, you know, working. You know. Yeah. See, I'm now. I'm, I've checked out. Like, oh, really? That's that's a. This, this is this is not your cup of tea. No. Steve, tell us. Can this you is tell us Brock's can move. He's working on a Kimura, and he was at the side, which is the place that you'd want to be to get the most leverage forward, because you want to put his arm behind his back. Oh, the the Dan Puder. So that you can twist his shoulder. Yes. Ah. Yes. <laughs> Daniel Puder. I love it. And here's Daniel Puder <laughs> and his Puder pen. <laughs> Kind of sad that that guy got fucked over. Yes, he was yeah. good. Like he, he, he did he, what they asked him to do, and yeah. that fucked him over. He had a, a ready-made storyline. Yeah, what like, a shame. you don't have to have him beating Kurt Angle. No, but you can put him against Kurt Angle. They can have a fight. Oh, nice. Kurt can beat him, uh, and then he can move down the card. Yep. But like you know, he could have been a mid carder. Absolutely. Can he talk? Um, mm. Okay. Okay, okay. Oh, oh. For like an old platter into an arm bar. Is that a row special? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Big into the arm bar. See, what were your finishers? I had the go go platter. Ah. And if I was doing it from the top, it is the Aoki platter, named after my favorite MMA fighter of all time, Shinya Aoki. Is he a Baka survivor? He was a Baka survivor! He was fucking awesome. He was great. Oh! Did you kick him in the ball? That looked like a kick in the dick, mate. Okay, he's going for the Kimura again. Is this a pin now? Looks like he's pinning him, no? I think both I think his, his arm, yeah, yeah he, uh, he's blocking his shoulder from going down. I like that it's a much different feel of a fight, you know, than the rest of the card. Just a bit of difference in there. Yeah. Could have done with, like, you could have a women's match in there, you know. That's the one thing that I missed the most uh, about when we were watching TNA back in the kind of mid-2000s. So the cards, the matches were were all different. Like, you'd have your opener, multi-man, uh, high-flying match, and then you'd have, like, a, a tag match. Brawl. A fish market brawl. Yeah. You'd have a solid women's match you'd have a hardcore match yep. you'd have a like main event type of uh, US wrestling match I kind of oh, miss when wrestling had a bit of everything you know yep. 
So what's the difference between this match and Frank Trigg, AJ Styles? <laughs> <laughs> Cardio. <laughs> and it's weird because like AJ is one of the greatest in-ring wrestlers of the last 20 years. Mm -hmm. But it just goes to show you that you're working on a totally different yeah, yeah. like level with this type of fighting. You know, like the cardio is different. Muscle groups that, that are being used are, are different. So he like he he gassed out in like 30 seconds or something like that because he just wasn't used to doing that, you know? Yeah. See, wrestling is entertainment and MMA is a sport. So if you're doing a hybrid, you have the chance of it being the worst mm. of both <laughs> worlds. <laughs> the, the worth of boast worlds? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> not boasters, not the biscuits. <laughs> oh, boasters? Jesus. How are you getting on with this, Jane? Are you fine? Yeah, I'd be on your side, Steve. Yeah. Mm. I mean, this is a bit shy because like there, there's no story being told. Yeah. Yeah, 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 like these guys, they're working. You know, they're working for them, not for us. Yeah, okay. You know, but that's not what I want out of wrestling. See, what I'd imagine, you know, wrestling in the forties, fifties, sixties would be this, but much worse. Yeah. <laughs> 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 this but played at point two five speed <laughs> with barrel chested bald fellas yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> with people's dads. <laughs> like he really wants that armor. Mm. Was a uh, Dubby Dub was that the first federation to popularize the kind of instant tap with the arm bars with the, and the leg kick yeah and the yeah, leg yeah, kick yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. and the kick yeah. punch <laughs> you know I love the kick <laughs> punch <laughs> <laughs> who thought you could punch and kick at the same time yeah. devastating yeah. but like it took ages for the influence of MMA um, to get arm bars from a, like a rest hold to like a finisher or it's like a even move. nowadays it's like not really like like an instant tap like you know in a shoot match it, you know if like Ronda Rousey gets you in an armbar unless you're like Misha Tate and you're made of fucking rubber you're, you're, you're tapping out you know would you like to see a bit more realism brought in with submission moves like that oh he's got he's got the ankle lock on it's an instant tap I don't think it works with pro wrestling if he can, is the story of the match he's trying to get the ankle lock yeah. on? Yeah, I, I'm down with that. Yeah. Mm. They'd have to put it over and put emphasis and like build it up as a thing that if he gets it on, you're fucked or else he's going to break your ankle. Yeah. That'd be cool. Yeah. I have no confidence in them doing it though. Mm. No, they can't do it. Like, right. They've ruined every submission move ever. Yeah, except for the pain, obviously. No, no. The pain. You don't know what else you got first there. I know that uh, I think this match should have ended a couple of minutes ago. <laughs> and he's the MMA guy. At the start, I was like, okay, this is cool. But now they're just kind of rolling around. <laughs> you were saying 15 minutes. This has been four minutes on the clock. <laughs> like, now it doesn't look like a fight. Steve anymore. has tapped out. Uh, Chandler from San Diego. What finishing move would you have and why? Oh, wait, we Crippler have. cross face because it's awesome and it was my move. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, oh, hey, there you go. Oh, what happened? Oh, Jesus, I looked down at the paper <laughs> for like a minute. Yeah. Oh, no, oh. it's a count. Oh, S my standing bad. count. That's boxing, not MMA. So now we start again. Okay. okay. Yeah. Yeah. Standing. Yeah. This seems like it's oh, something you should do at the very start of the match. Listen to the fans. Though. Like, like the fans have definitely kind of perked up. A bit of firing up there. there oh, somebody won. No, no, no. It's a bit of this. A bit oh, of county, okay. county. At least it, it's it's definitely like the next part of the match. <laughs> which I prefer. We're one step closer to the end. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Nice. Yeah. Oh, did you get it? There he's got it. That's it. There we go. Instant tap. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Absolutely worked. Because they got it over in yeah, the yeah, body yeah. of the match where he mm. held on and he couldn't get it. Listen, this was what, eight minutes? Yeah, if you cut five minutes out of it and just get to that second part, <laughs> yeah. solid. 
I am going to say my second favorite match on the show so far after Slaughter Warrior. <laughs> <laughs> that was perfect, Len. It was yeah. good, wasn't yeah. it? Just get in there, do your business and leave. And run away. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Brian from Bradford and Clare. Mr. OOC, can you describe your career in WBW? <laughs> <laughs> oh. Um. Tumultuous. Yeah. Like, well... Unfulfilled, um, wasted talent, buried, buried, <laughs> buried, uh, second fiddle, heartbeat of the company, uh, the conscience of WBW. You, like, you I, were the face <laughs> in Mask versus Face. <laughs> I was one of the faces. Of <laughs> oh no, I think it's the other. I think you no, no, had your mask on properly. Yeah, yeah, you had. Okay, Jay's mask fit. I, <laughs> I was one of only two people there from the first match to the last. Yeah, you were in Hell in the Hallway. Yeah, I was yeah. in Hell in the Hallway. Yeah, yeah. Hall. that was. And you I job then. I was. I jo- I was the one that that uh, that uh, took the pinfall in that. I think. But anyway, um, disappointing to me, but nobody else. I really wanted you to see you as world champion. But one of your characters did have the coolest character, the coolest look. The coolest uh, long-term build. Yeah, he would have been great. Uh, Gabriel would yeah, yeah. have been an absolutely awesome uh, yeah. champion. Yeah. yeah, it's look overall. If I could do it all again, of course I'd. By the way, once on, on Twitch, that the like guys were asking me about this, and yeah. I told them our yeah. our build and long-term plan yeah, yeah, for yeah. Gabriel that he's the fallen angel who was sent down to uh, <laughs> to Ireland <laughs> <laughs> to ratify. <laughs> <laughs> to rid the wrestling world of the seven deadly sins <laughs> and how he bla- <laughs> no it's so bad it's great isn't it and how he like you know goes through the first one the second one third one he takes something from each person that he beats he gets five six he's on the final deadly sin pride versus Jay Hunter yeah. and fails yeah and then gets a rematch and fails yeah and then turns to the dark side and slowly changes his gear from all white to all black and becomes from a top mid card heel to sorry top mid card face to one of the top heels and the guys were like that sounds amazing they were like I'd watch the shit out of that yeah. I was like yeah so that leads into the next question uh, Mike from Cardiff sorry just by the time you'll have another match with Jay Hunter and you will have to wrestle like a heel to win and you get your prize out of it yeah yeah, yeah. oh it's brilliant uh, and don't forget Lucian oh, yeah, that was my spin-off character yeah yeah, yeah. Um, we, that's what we did to fill out the roster most of the time yeah, everyone gets a second there yeah. <laughs> spin-off character but still it was it and was a tertiary character all right, and go. that is the end of part one of the show. Here is our halfway uh, jumping off point. An easy watch. Mm. Pretty much. Can I just ask one? Uh, this next question uh, kind of leads on oh, from the last okay. one. Mike from Cardiff. Mm. Oh, see, why won't you release the WBW tapes? <laughs> <laughs> Like Schneider OC <laughs> release the tape like release the oop you, cut I have no issue giving you two the tapes <laughs> right that's as far as they're going to go for now let's talk again at episode 200 oh but wow how that's about right. the 138th episode special oh the 138th episode spectacular I suppose uh, bollocks <laughs> um no, look. <laughs> <laughs> Straight up. Yeah. yeah. Now come back to me in a, it's taken us ten years. Ten years. To, okay, come back to me in another ten. There we go. Two thousand thirty one won't know what's hit it. Let's <laughs> <laughs> see dumb. All right. So that'll do it for the first half of the show. And we'll see you for the outbreak question. <laughs> um the question halfway through the show is oh, what does Aaron Anderson smell like? See you after the break. All right, so before the break, I asked you, what does Aloha Iron smell like? It was a leading question. Cat <laughs> piss and vinegar. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure there's whiskey and uh, cigars as well in there too. Main event candles. Ooh. 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 Yeah, yeah. Love it. 
So we've teamed up with our bras at Main Event Candles to give us some uh, OSW scented candles. Mm. Ooh, hey, it's a lot more like lavender-y than I thought. Yeah, because I have had a chocolate candle in the past and I thought it was disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, it just sounds like you had one. <laughs> See, he was going to a chili con bar. <laughs> but this one's very nice. Yeah, really nice. Okay, what have you got? I have the Aloha Iron. Oh. Which, mm. The second I smelt it, I was like, oh, it's coconutty. So this is coconut, sandalwood, and musk. That works, doesn't it? Like, did they create these scents based... Like, that is, is like a perfect scent for... Ticking all the Oloha iron boxes. Totally. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is it. Yeah, I've, yeah. I've been going back and forth. This with one's cool. very That's nice. Yeah. yeah. Lovely guy. He never tells me to sod off, despite, you know, me. Very nice. Yeah. Ooh, and I've got uh, V1's Irish coffee. Oh. Yeah. 100% soy wax hobo approved. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. soy wax. Yeah, very nice. Do you like the uh, copyright free um, version of uh, <coughs> Carl OSW Review Tunes artwork? <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Woo! Oh yeah. Okay. So I okay. I hate coffee. <laughs> I, I like. I actually this think this is your sales first. Coffee is is gross. <laughs> but I like how this smells. Oh, thank God he turned it around. <laughs> okay, so I hate this, <laughs> and I don't want my I, name anywhere near. I don't hate this as much as I thought I would. <laughs> so, what does Aloha Iron smell like? He smells like. Coconut, sandalwood, and musk. There you go. There it is. So go to madeeventcandles.com. Yeah, pick yourself up some schmelz. You fucking need it. Oh! Mystery Perfect Koto Hennig. It's great, isn't it? Ah, welcome back to side B of this OSW watch along. OSW 98 SWS WWF WrestleFest in the Tokyo Dome. That's pretty easy thing to say, isn't it? Automatic six and a quarter stars here. Oh, I'm, I, they must be so sick of that joke yeah. right now. But it's like, it's funny. And you caused it. <laughs> <laughs> and they keep doing it. They yeah. perpetuate this. Yeah. Did you know that Kurt Angle and Daniel Bryan have never had a five-star match? And I believe, I, I think Bret Hart had one. Wow. And w- wait, was that versus Owen in the steel cage? I match? think so. No, yeah. I, I was. I was thinking Iron Man match. Oh yeah, and then he's on the money. Then I'll, mm. I'll just change my opinion. Uh, match number nine is a non-title bout. It's Texas Tornado Kerry Von Erich versus the WWF Intercontinental Champion Kurt Hennig, non-title. And, of course, at WrestleMania 7, the Texas Tornado, he defeated Dino Bravo. I'm sure that was great. <laughs> it was great. Here, we can watch <laughs> it our OSW review. <laughs> yeah. and, uh, and the boss boob, he defeated Mr. Perfect oh. by DQ. Yeah, of course. Speaking of the boss boob, lads, in the two-hour preview uh, video that I watched from Wrestling of March of 1991. Thank you, Wrestling with Paul. Wrestling with Paul, ah. you fucking ah. animal. Ah. Ah. There was Copy an my legs. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> there was an incredible segment on primetime wrestling with Bobby Heenan and he's in the locker room talking with Vince, but Vince has a hidden camera and he captures Bobby Heenan saying bad things about the boss man's mama. And so then on primetime wrestling, uh, as Bobby Heenan is out there being brilliant, uh, the boss man comes out and confronts him. Uh, Bobby Heenan runs away up to the corner of where the fans are. And he's like, no, it's cool. Uh, it's actually quite nice up here. I think I'm going to do the show up here today. <laughs> um, brilliant. But he can't help himself. And he keeps saying things about the boss man's mom. Yeah, sure. So the boss man flips out. He runs up after him. He handcuffs him, brings him back down, cuffs him to the set, brings out his ma, and she batters him with her handbag. And Bobby Heenan is just selling it like a fucking master. And I have to say, the boss man was great playing the, the, the kind of angry, vengeful son. Don't you dare slag my mama. 
What does his mama look like? Judy Bagwell. <laughs> yeah. 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 It has to be. Pretty it? much like overweight, 50s, yeah, no, no, no. got the kind of curly uh, brown Did she have the curlers yeah. in, in yeah. the... Yeah. Had, yeah. She had a, bo- a, a rolling pin. Yeah. 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 Moo moo. Yeah, yeah. yeah all that. <laughs> Fucking moo moo. <laughs> <laughs> Sir, if you're just quieting down, we'll treat you to a garbage bag full of popcorn. <laughs> <laughs> Man, if wrestling was purely based on just how people look... Yeah, Kerry Von Erich. Oh, he's such a Mega beast. Star. Yeah. Look at him. Yeah. Want to stick him <sighs> in your main event, don't you? Oh, man. I love I love Texas Tornado because I only, only saw the WWF when I was a kid. Like, And as soon as he came in, oh, he's a fucking beast. He's so amazing. He's like the ultimate warrior. But he's just like a good dude from Texas, you know? You saw him with his um, robe back in the late 80s. I was like, man, I really want to bejewel my robe. Can I do that? I got some bejewels. And uh, my mom had none of it. Yeah. But sure, what's the harm? Nobody's going to see you. I reckon it's because she knew that I'd never either wear it out or and I can't use it as a bathrobe why because it's bejeweled now it'll probably be clankety clank you know? <laughs> like I, I, I'll <laughs> chains on it clankety clank clankety clank I won't be able to use it like it's just yeah, yeah. you know it's a dress robe now you know, yeah. I know. she was right <laughs> <laughs> it's almost like your parents know because they've you know because they're wise they and bejeweled they've lived their bathrobe <laughs> 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 So, a cup of coffee in WWF. So sad. Really sad to see him go. How long? After SummerSlam 91. So, about a year? Yeah. Is it? No, kind of less, than, less than that. Less than that. Yeah. Yeah. It was one of those things where Vince wanted him, but he didn't trust him because he was from, you know, he's oh, Von yeah. Erics. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, it's like Vince doesn't have any hold over them. Mm. So, he just, I don't want to push you. And uh, so, they taped him losing. And it's like, we'll air it whenever you leave. And sure, that just pushed him. Aww. Mm. They're dying to get his arse out on this look. <laughs> A young Triple H takes notes. <laughs> <laughs> A old Ric Flair also takes notes. <laughs> <laughs> Steve. It's a claw! Oh, oh it's a claw! He needs to go Magna. I love it. The fans are not popping for this at all. You know who I hate doing the claw? Big Show. Yes, that's true. Um, <laughs> I was going to say um, Lacey Von Eric. Because uh, do you remember she, like, even when she was in. Uh, obviously she was in TNA but she was in Wrestlelicious and she the first thing she does she just yeah I'm the claw yeah me me and the Von Erics it's like you are fuck off you, how dare you useless woman <laughs> it, but Jay it's her birthright how dare you take it <laughs> this is like you know Tolkien's grandkids who you know they're just like I know what Tolkien wants yeah I never met I'll take his money though you know? <laughs> he'd hate Peter Jackson and his uh, 200 awards he hated it like. <laughs> I don't know, man. Lacey Von Eric, she can do no wrong in my eyes. Yeah. yeah. Even when wrestling. Yeah, she's yeah. pretty great. Like. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. You know, that's the kindest thing that's ever been said. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna make you watch some Wrestlelicious then. We'll see how it turns out. I love to watch Wrestlelicious. Wrestlelicious, baby. Wrestlelicious. <laughs> <laughs> Jimmy Hart. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Your man. Johnny Jonathan Vargas, he's the money mark for Wrestlelicious. Ah, oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, he won the Powerball lottery, uh, 35.3 million. Wow, how much did he blow? How, <laughs> how much did the wrestling world gouge out of this mark? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I don't know his current financials. Like, you know. Yeah, Matt, it was gimmick was pretty much a new age glow of uh, Wrestlelicious all female roster with sketch comedy bumpers you know cheesy stereotype gimmicks so it's like there's a mafia girl all American girl Hawaii girl Dracula <laughs> country pumpkin of note they did get daffers yeah, yeah. Uh, Leva Bates there blue pants uh, Serena Deeb of the oh, she's great by the way oh my god uh, she was signed by AEW and in my opinion Outside of like Mox and, no, yeah, and Jericho, I I think she's one of their overall best signings. She single-handedly makes the women's roster in AW significantly better. Oh, great! She's fucking great. She looks amazing. And uh, Mercedes Martinez, retaliation of the group Retribution. 
<laughs> no! <laughs> but then she left after like one day. <laughs> she got away lightly. Back to NXT and she's like, yes! <laughs> Sorry, man, we're just talking about Lacey Von Eric and <laughs> Resolutions <laughs> with Perfect and... Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry, guys. One of these things is not like the other. <laughs> Are we good? Perfect Flex? <laughs> Bang, <laughs> done. Ah, oh, mullet rat is out my key. I love it. And then he's, uh, call it, call, he's gonna call it. It's gonna be a DQ, yeah, yeah, isn't yeah. it? Here we go. Oh, <laughs> Do you think that uh, Texas Tornado, like, obviously he's a better worker than the Warrior, but does he have that X factor that he could have played it and done it better? Or was Jim. Helwig, the only man on the planet who could have done that. Absolutely the latter, Steve. I think, by the way, Texas Tornado could have been a world champion and a much more successful world champion than uh, Ultimate Warrior, but no, he couldn't have played that game. No. He didn't take enough coke, is what you're saying. Yeah. <laughs> he only had a small man. He had a small rack, he needed a huge man. <laughs> no, he's awesome. Mm. Chris of Northwich asks, Oh, see, if you were Vince McMahon for a day, what would you do? Tap everyone out, give them all the ball oh, to you. Oh, I know what I'd do. Mm -hmm. I'd retire and, like, ironclad contract. <laughs> and <laughs> hand over the reins. Yeah. Like, like I, and, and I would choose my successor. That's, oh, that's really good. I, I'll go with a combination of Paul Heyman pa, pa, and Vince Russo. Oh, Ooh. so uh, Heyman would be Russo's filter. Yes. And they wouldn't kill each other. <laughs> no, no, that's in the contract. That's in the contract, yeah. Must no, I like no that, No knives Steve. into work. <laughs> and this is ironclad. Nobody can, can change it until Heyman and Russo are dead. <laughs> they can't leave you. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking great. Uh, Will from Laurel. So these are all wrestling questions from yes. Yogger You. If you could kick one wrestler slash promoter slash owner slash wrestling personality as hard as you can in the groin with zero consequences for you, who would it be and why? Most love to you and all the boys. Thank you. Uh, it's too obvious, Triple H. Like, that's obvious. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, oh, oh. Good promos and they just start going. <laughs> oh, he's got the rat's tail. Lance Storm at the back. How will you fight tonight? Kenro and Hogan! Get ready for the battle of your life! Kenro, you faced us before in Japan! You know what we're all about! Hulk Hogan! The WWF champion! You haven't been in the ring with the Road Warriors before, and you ain't gonna like it, Red Hawk. We will fight tonight like we will never fight before. Can you say the same, Hogan and Tenru? Today can be your last day in Japan or for the rest of your life. They're playing the heels here, then. Yeah. These guys are great. Although, when you think about it, right, Hawk has a bald horseshoe head mm. and a mustache. Mm. How did he ever get over looking like that? <laughs> Face paint and me. <laughs> uh, they, they, they were great. Like, yeah, yeah. I don't think they look so oh, oh, my God. <laughs> murder, murder, murder. MDK, 187. Uh, who we got here? It's match number 10. SWS versus a WWE. <laughs> Forces at WWF tag match. It's Barbarian and Jimmy Superfly Snooker versus Yoshiaki Yatsu and Ishin Riki. Did you watch the Vice oh, look at this. Um, look at this, documentary? Uh, Ikea though. rug he's got here. No, never. <laughs> it's, good. Yeah. it's decent, but the problem with the Vice stuff. Have you, have you oh, watched the Dark Side of the Ring? Dark Side of the Ring, yeah. The problem with it is that they have the cheesy uh, body doubles, you know. Oh, you're not into uh, that? Oh, the reconstructions. That's what no. happens when you can't use footage. I know, I don't like it. Man, the Barbarian looks 
awesome. Do you here. think they should just like animate it instead? <laughs> <laughs> like like Chris, OSW um, yeah, is animated. Yeah, like. yeah. Adam is a word for you, mate. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Chris Toll from ICW asks. Yay! Uh, also, Chris from London. Uh, also, Daniel, oh, Stephen wow. Kenward, and David from Parrots Unknown. Is there any return or storyline? Jobber like, jog to the ring. Oh, Jesus. That could get you to return to watching wrestling again on a regular basis. Keep on being your beautiful self. Aww. Thank you. I don't know if I've said it on the show, but I've said it a million times. I think John Moxley is the only person who's got any kind of potential to be the guy he's so good at the minute but even when he was Dean Ambrose I, I thought he's got he's got it did he need more smell promo <laughs> Ew, smell like you, you look at who they're pushing Seth Rollins Drew McIntyre they don't they don't have it I like Drew he doesn't have it he's not the guy so for me Moxley to return to WWE and pushed really well good storylines then I might possibly consider thinking about it also one show a week and it's 90 minutes sorry Jay yes you're absolutely correct oh, there's no way in hell I'm watching 10 hours a week and I will say I will say a maximum of 6 pay-per-views a year ooh I like it yeah this put me down amazing yeah. oh my god <laughs> 90 Vince minutes McMahon, a you're out. <laughs> 6 pay-per-views a year imagine holy shit there's a chance of me going from watching 0 pay-per-views to watching 6 but there's no chance of getting you to watch 14. No. Okay. Yeah, totally get you. Ook. Heyman. Russo. <laughs> Holy Trinity. <laughs> <laughs> Man, the barbarian, he just... He looks like a million bucks here. My goodness. Why not put him with Haku anyway? I mean, they were a tag team and at the time right yeah he's he's got booties and he's like nah can't do it mate oh uh, like in this cell like <laughs> oh yeah <laughs> that's some Hulkamania era that, selling that there even a move <laughs> <laughs> uh, they must be so happy working each other like he's happy to bump around and he's happy to be the big kind of lummox that ah, gets it's the big fella smarted. who's still not that big look at those culottes <laughs> the old the remedy culottes yeah 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 <laughs> the tri- three quarter length <laughs> the riding pants <laughs> uh, Darren from Glasgow asks what entrance music do you hate the most Randy Orton oh, really, really? Oh, yeah. voices oh man it's the worst wrestling theme music imaginable what part of it don't you know it's not wrestling theme music it's, <laughs> <laughs> it's just someone having a moan yes but you should love it so moan and like <laughs> re- rev theory just getting buried and I suppose it doesn't help that it's Randy Orton's theme so any time it hits you it's like instant deflation ugh um, and his original theme was fucking brilliant and it oh, still is fucking life. yes and it's still fucking brilliant lads anything you dislike all eyes on oh <laughs> Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> uh, I can't dismiss you obviously uh, TL Hopper is, it's just a toilet flushing there <laughs> uh, but that was back in the day where it's just pro- actual a theme music like this is a music that a plumber would come out to same with uh, Isaac Yankum DDS yeah yeah yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> diesel diesel <laughs> Get the fuck out of the <laughs> <laughs> Steve. This is all the new gen trash. <laughs> <laughs> Any music that you hate? Uh, I was never fan of the big show song. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I just yeah. never liked hey, it. Hey man, he's only been using it for 22 years. Give yeah, it a break. It's true. You? <laughs> Give it a chance. It'll grow on you. I hated in the 2000s uh, WWF's, WWE's uh, Divas. They all had this kind of faux modern pop yeah, synthesized yeah, yeah. stuff with some what about china's uh don't treat me like a woman don't treat china. me like a man <laughs> treat me like a china <laughs> <laughs> but that's that like candace michelle has come full circle for us we yeah, love those true. those those tunes <laughs> Oh, that's 
Good they, are, they are working this headlock. Hold, hold on for dear life. Could you imagine if they did a pay per view where you said you're not allowed to do the same move, you know, match on match? So if someone use match one uses a headlock, oh, man. the rest of you can. Can you join my booking team? <laughs> <laughs> Love it, Jay. Steve, you got any ideas? You're on the peripheral here. You're, gonna, <laughs> on, the, you're on the bubble. <laughs> <laughs> um, make Steve champion. You're in. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> he wins with his but, move. But I don't have to bump, though, do <laughs> you I? You don't have to bump? No. <laughs> I want the taker spot, Steve. <laughs> oh, brilliant. Uh, oh, my God. Okay, Ben from Peoria, Illinois. Uh, Illinois. Il <laughs> Illinois. And Connor Emery uh, ask, Mr. OC, top three wrestlers, living or dead, uh, what wrestler, alive or dead, did you wish you could meet? Um, I kind of met most of them. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, they've, they've met you. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Sorry, thank you, thank you. I don't know. Like DDP seems like a lovely bloke. Yeah. Um, I give him a goo. I feel like he's quite car. Oh, yeah, he's quite carny. Oh yeah. Like, you know, worker. Yeah. I know, but he'd be fun though. Yeah, you know? yeah. I would like to meet Andre just just to see. Was he that impressive in, in, in real life? Go for a point of the black stuff with him. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. Um, and, uh, yeah, that's that's kind of it. That is? Yeah. Um, Would you, like, go to meet Randy Orton and go Round get him a handshake and everything, like, pull him? <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yeah. yeah. That is, that, that looks like a soft man. Um, I'd love to meet Randy Savage, I see. Um, and The Rock, but before he was a movie star as well, like even like in the late 90s and early 2000s. Before he was fake, basically, is what yeah, you're saying. Yeah, yeah. Because he was my favourite star. Oh, uh, yeah. I haven't met Brett, you know. I'd love to meet Brett. You know? We I'm have not met so Brett. Have we? we have met Brett. <laughs> 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 I'll take that back. It was very hey, memorable. Hey, lads, lads. I'm going to ask you about the screw job. Yeah. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> there we go. Um... So, Steve, you're not a big wrestler meter. I'm not big into um, meeting famous people. Uh, celebrity worship is not something that I'm big into. Other than the incredible Coke, who we can't wait to meet. Mm, yeah, well, that's true. Hmm. TB Great Crack. Yeah. Better be. <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant. But, yeah, like, I wouldn't, you know, want to meet somebody just to give out to them. That's silly, no. you know what I mean? Like, oh, I want to meet Triple H to tell me shit. No, yeah. no. Mm. Yeah, that just makes you a cunt. Yeah. Sean, you've seen better days. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, that was taken out of context. <laughs> Can you give us a couple of TV questions? Uh, TV questions. Ooh. Partridge question from Adam mm. from Middlesbrough. Hey, OC, how's The Edge? The Edge is fine. How's Adam Clayton? Adam Clayton is fine. Uh, and how's the drummer? The drummer is fake. <laughs> <laughs> Are those your mother's cataract glasses? <laughs> um, uh, Danny from Reading. Which celebrity would you like to spend a bank holiday with? Um, <laughs> sit down with some hot pot and red cabbage and watch Chitty Chitty Bang Bang with Sting. <laughs> Sting the wrestler or the singer? It was, the <laughs> <laughs> it was the singer. Yeah. James Bilbao. If you could go... That's electric go, man. <laughs> if you could go around Legoland with anyone, who would it be? I'd like to go around Legoland with Sean Connery, and then afterwards we go for a lovely lamb lunch in the centre of Windsor. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking brilliant. Harry from Leeds. Oh, see, what's your favourite oh, Alan Part <laughs> What's your favourite Partridge episode, quote, and scene? Man... Like I'm trying to pick one, like. I I made I, like I had a quick think about it. Oh yeah, episode Jed Maxwell, fantastic. Yeah, yeah. scene is I'm a fan. <laughs> scene is the fashion show from the last episode of this time with Alan Parker. Wow, wow, well, what do you like? Man? I was in tears laughing from start to finish. It was the the Alan Partridge playing the camp, like mm. overly camp, and Simon just not getting it and not being able to keep up, but trying. It's just it's phenomenal. It's like, what is it, like 80 pounds? Like, she can't be. Yeah. 
This lad in the green jocks is great. Bumping like a boss. He's out there on his own. Man. He is. So favorite scene? And um, like there's, you know, just some. I'll pick out some amazing quotes, and like this is quotes that have kind of come into at home our daily kind of life. Oh wow! Uh, singing, it's me, it's me. Um, tell you what, what tell, tell you what, what it's nine and, nine and a half thousand pounds. I even have um, the wee one singing that as well. <laughs> um, oh, recent one. After the pee or poo has landed, do make sure that you're, you're clean handed. handed. <laughs> <laughs> there you uh, go. Um, couple of quotes. All right, packing. Like, the, you know, my favourite is Scissor Dial, so. Uh, hit the entire supermarket scene is incredible. Oh, that's obviously, good stuff. all right, pack in. Uh, Alan Potter's is an arm. and then he becomes a northern woman. <laughs> you know? They call them bags for laugh, don't they? But I must have two dozen in the boot, my car. <laughs> um, and Bono. 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 I think it was after WrestleMania we were. That's we were just saying that yeah. for hours. We went to the club and yeah. just started shouting that out on the dance floor. For oh no. But yeah, I yeah. feel really bad for everyone else there. <laughs> Holy shit! Because we were blasted out of our face. Just got, just got oh in no. our head, didn't we? Um, <laughs> <laughs> and then another amazing part of Scissor Dial is when he's stuck in the warehouse, and um, he thinks he sees somebody through the crack of the door, and he's he's trying to get their attention, and he's he's man. And then he's trying to rile them up to get their attention. He's like, Chav man, fat boy. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> and he said later to, he discovered that the figure he'd seen was nothing more than a cardboard cut out of a Nolan sister holding some activity. <laughs> Amazing. So, uh, yeah, it's that's just off the top of my head stuff. He's great. Fantastic. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, hype. I agree with everything. At least they're not shouting. Yeah, it's very different, isn't it? Mm. To the like big, muscly, American shouty, sweaty, ugly, yeah, man, yeah, screaming at you. Mm. But I also like that as well. Not every promo. That's the issue. Jay, pretty much you? everyone cut cut the same promo. Do you? Sorry, Jay, uh, Jay. I had a lot. I, I I threw out a lot of them in um, mm, the, this time yeah, with Alan Partridge, yeah, yeah, but yeah. like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. You say hello. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Dan is like, oh my, my favorite episode is with Dan. Uh, so I'm Alan Partridge season two, which is fantastic. But like season one and two, of I'm Alan Partridge, amazing, just incredible. So I don't want to discount his stuff after that, like. Or uh, before. Yeah, yeah, in like in Mid Morning Matters and mm. uh, Scissor Island. Um, There's not a place in all, all my life. life. Is oh. this fella's Holy over, shit. lads? Here we go. This fella's fucking yeah, over. We're, we're getting into the fucking main event here. The money. There we go. It's our penultimate matchup. Match number 11. George Takano from SWS versus the Macho Man, Randy Savage. You're telling me that they couldn't have had Warrior in this match and he could have been the penultimate Warrior. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Rights <laughs> itself. <laughs> Come on! Um, obviously, WrestleMania 7, bit fucking dodge here. Uh, Savage just lost his career ending bout versus the Warrior. Uh, they fobbed it off as, oh, contractual obligations that he still had to f- fulfill. Mm. Although that's, uh, you know, it wasn't a legal thing. They kind of just kind of embarrassed him to say, oh, you said you'll go, won't you? You, you said it. That's what's going to happen. Like, that, that's not legally binding. Mm-hmm. There you go. Hey, that's a wrestler contract. <laughs> A handshake and a bag of hand. Yeah, and handshake and a bag, a bag of smack. <laughs> Lads, can I ask you your opinion on this? I much preferred his <clears throat> original in ring gear. You know, the the cloak. I was never a fan of the jacket and the spanglies. Hmm. hmm. I think I prefer this. I know what you're saying. There was a point where it gets. Oh. Do you mean the like poncho kind of thing? Yeah. Yeah, okay. But they're Punch. like they're both awesome. I feel it's more kind of seventies, like hold over from the seventies. Mm. I just think it looks better. Like he looks comical. You know, I don't know, like a parody of the Macho Man. 
He's over. He's kind of peacocking here. Yeah, yeah. which I like. I just wish that we could have someone like this nowadays. Like, not enough coke in the world. <laughs> yeah, like, uh, coke like steroids. Like, I honestly feel that the way that you know wrestling is gone, that we'll never have someone like this ever again. And it's like they'd get so over they'd be so different they'd be so cool you can't get over it. there's too much wrestling on yeah you know and anything that catches fire we're gonna burn it you're just gonna stamp it into the ground until it's not cool yeah it's true so you can't get over that big and plus oh, that's so fucking sad I don't know like uh, WWE is too big and it's it's the brand now not stars you know they've changed that dynamic round where the company's bigger than the star oh my goodness I love it Electro. Yes, the Centurion <laughs> thing going on. Solid. And he's just got the boring trunks, the boring black trunks. <laughs> it's, it's, at least it's matching, you know? Like, uh, actually, he's not wearing any um, uh, knee pads. Because, you know, those wrestlers that pick up whatever gears hanging around. So let's have, you know, gray knee pads and red pants. Yeah. That kind of, you know, those wrestlers. Yeah. yeah. The old runny garbage look. The codgers. Yeah. The codgers? <laughs> <laughs> uh, what do you got there first? Um, Martin from Blanchardstown hey. hey Got off my horse to ask this nah. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. As OC Is the Irish Roger Ebert In his opinion What's the greatest movie of the last 20 years Well I'm going to exclude Any of the Lord of the Rings movies Because okay. that's obvious So excluding Lord of the Rings I've got a few Oh. Um, my favourite by the way the Oh Oh, X Pac would love that. Mate. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh come knacker, on! Knacker. There's no need for that. So he's working this heel, yeah. That's a bit scummy. Mm. Oh, look at this heel work! Getting the ref, spitting, good stuff. Yeah, like he was heel in WWE against War, just at the end here. Yeah, yeah, until SummerSlam. But he turned babyface at the end of the match, right? Ah, yeah, that's yeah. true. Yeah. Anyway, so... Uh, it's still spitting. Yeah, yeah. Um, I've got The Martian, Creep, Kung Fu Hustle, Matrix Reloaded, District 9, The Prestige, X-Men 2, Vanilla Sky, Revenge of the Sith, and, again, excluding Lord of the Rings, my favourite movie of the last 20 years is Sunshine. Oh, wow. Okay. Have you seen it? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Did you know that they used the music from Sunshine in uh, Wonder Woman 84? Yes, and, and it pissed me off. What the fuck was and that? it pissed me <laughs> fucking right off. <laughs> I think that song from Sunshine was used in some ad for like fucking Boddington's beer or, 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 or like Puck of Pies or something like that before. It was the one where there's like lads going, and for all the plumbers and electricians and the barmen and the cleaners, and they're like walking up a hill to get to a pub or something. Fuck off. Like, is it John Williams? I think it might be John Williams. Have some self respect. You don't need to <laughs> sell it to everyone who asks for it. But, but, money. I know, but how much money are Buddington's going to give you? <laughs> Let's just say it moved me <laughs> to a bigger house. <laughs> Brilliant. Christian from Rumuski in Canada. What's the most acclaimed movie? critically or otherwise that you've hated or very strongly disliked and why Godfather Godfather 2 Casino oh, and you know the gangster movies in general I'm not a fan of I'm also not a fan of gangster movies but I do like Casino I think that's good. okay um, Raging Bull movies. but yeah. it's mostly because they're glorifying scumbag okay drug dealers and like um, sorrow peddlers like they make everyone's lives around yeah. them terrible yeah. and sorrow they, peddlers yeah. I like it yeah. it's also because they talk bullshit about respect and, but that's just facade and they'll knock over the person above them to get ahead they mean fear so yeah so there's no respect here there's no honour in it but it's presented in that fashion so I think it's disgusting okay has there been like I enjoyed Goodfellas they're very well made a fun movie, movie. Yeah. Um, but I'm like when you've got a three and you're sitting down, you got three and a half to four hours ahead of you. Pfft, instantly, I'm I'm struggling. And then to, on top of that, to make it a boring 
three and a half, four hours? No. no. It's weird, actually, like that all of us don't like the same mm. type of yeah. movies. Yeah. There's exceptions. Like, as I say, I like good yeah. I also hate westerns. Yeah, no time for them. And musicals. They're my three. Well, obviously. They're my three least favorite. Paint yeah. your <laughs> wagon. <laughs> With paint. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah, there has to be. The South Park was a musical. The South Park film. Oh. And the songs are my least favorite part, but, you know. There are some great songs. There's some there. good songs in it. Uh, Jay, I, I still give out to him. Gave me a land of the Tenacious, tenacious D and the Pick of Destiny. Love that film. <sighs> so, oh, I hated it so much. But you don't like <laughs> Jack Black. You don't You don't get it. He I, loves rock so yeah, much. Yeah. I know, I, I don't mm. hate Jack Black, but I don't want him to sing. Do you like... Um, Flight of the Concords. I've never tried it and I don't think I would like Ooh, it. We'll so. start you off with Figwit. He's got a song about Lord of the Rings. Uh, yeah. Frodo, don't wear the ring. You'll never be the Lord of the Ring. <laughs> <laughs> no one must be tempting. See, you know, you know, no, music, man. Music yeah, is not, not funny. Your thing. No. Unless it's there's a certain Tremonti involved. <laughs> oh, yeah. Or... Yeah. Uh, or some kind of uh, a bridge with an altar. <laughs> 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 but that's not funny. Some kind of Benji. It's it's that's very it's enjoyable, broken. but it's not funny. Children! <laughs> 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 okay, that's funny. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, Scott from Liverpool. What did you hate so much about Date Movie? I remember you saying in the Samurai Cop review that it was the worst movie you've ever seen, but you didn't say why. I love that rolling kick. It's very senshi or something. I think it's kick him in the face, though, instead, you know? Don't kick him in the groin. This is Arf, all I got. This, <laughs> this is my big move. <laughs> yes. What people will remember me for. Um, why did I hate... It? I, I don't know. I can't put my finger on it. Because it's shit. Obviously it's shit, but why is it so much shitter than all the other Wayans Brothers movies? But have you gone that? back and watched them? Because I, I went back and watched like one of the scary movies recently and I was like, oh my God, because I'm not 17 anymore, yeah, th- yeah, yeah. this is actual pain watching this. But I watched Date Movie when I was relatively young and I still hated it. And I enjoyed Scary Movie and all those other <laughs> shitty ones. Like a lot of tropes put together and no creative spark reasoning but that was to be. Other movies had that and yeah. I didn't hate them. I don't know. It was maybe they all these things put together and there wasn't even a smile. There wasn't even a grin. <laughs> There was barely a grimace in the entire hour and a half. Did you even uncross your arms? <laughs> <laughs> I think I was sitting on the floor, but not, not because I hated the movie. I just couldn't be bothered getting up. Jesus, lads, this fella is bringing Macho Man down. Size of him, though. Yeah. Mm, yeah. Looks great. Mm. He's a big lump, isn't he? Yeah. The ring and the blue mats on the outside, they must be raised unless they have really tiny barricades. <laughs> tiny commentators. <laughs> Hear your racist, OG! I was going to some kind of picket Ooh, fence. Oh, that was a very yeah. uh, mobile <laughs> ref. We still haven't seen a Japanese table. I'm very disappointed. We've seen, we've seen wallpaper tables. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> but not tea tables. Uh, you got any wrestling questions? Uh, wrestling questions. Mark from Kuala Lumpur and Matt from Newcastle, the Aussie one. Hmm. Which moment in wrestling history or pay-per-view history do you wish you could have witnessed live? Same again. Y2J's debut. Yeah. The pop, man. Would have been good. So fucking cool. Hogan Rock, yeah. man. Yeah, yeah, that'd be mine. <laughs> Hogan Warrior. I think would have been incredible. I think I, we're a bit tainted. Like, yeah, I'm sure at the time, but looking back, I'm like, yeah, I want nothing to do with that. You know, Hogan Rock, yes, but maybe Hogan Warrior. Just I'm sick of the sight of both of you. <laughs> you know, whereas like wow. Hogan Rock, I'm only sick of the sight of one of you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, Hogan Rock, I remember, because it's like, mm. Hogan was my favorite wrestler in Hulkamania. Rock was my favorite in the Attitude Era. So both of them. And obviously Hogan has his nostalgia wave, so turning on the rock mid match to root for Hogan, it's just a wonderful feeling, yeah. Even when we were watching live this group and it's around and just hurling abuse at the television at whatever three thirty in the morning. Mm-hmm. Yeah, brilliant. Yeah. And for for me, um 
the ending of WrestleMania 20, even though it's like Eddie and he's passed away, and Chris, who shall not be named, uh, like, holy fuck, that's like one of my favourite moments in wrestling history, and it kills me that it's been marred, because it was an incredible moment. Like, wrestling is like at its best when you get those real moments, and holy fuck, it was good. Do you remember they didn't uh, know what had happened until before Tuesday's ECW taping, I think? So on the Monday, they had um, the Chris Benoit tribute yeah. show. And so you knew that he died. And then when they showed Eddie and Benoit, because they showed highlights on Raw, and it's like, it's just hit me, both of them are dead. This is a milestone in your wrestling fandom. Yeah. You know, mm. I always really felt sad. terrible for my mate Paddy, because they were always his two fucking favourites. And when the two of them were dead, he, he was like... I'll keep watching wrestling, but I don't think I'll ever love it again. And I was like, oh, that's heartbreaking. Fuck, mate. Got any other? What else uh, Keen from Dublin, Ireland. Hey, hey. Keen. Hey. Uh, OC, you're well known for your lenient stance on crime. <laughs> 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 but suppose for a second that your house was ransacked by thugs, your family was tied up in the basement with socks in their mouth, you try to open the door, but there's too much blood on the knob. It's a great line. Yeah. Did you know your boy Jack Evans is in AEW? <laughs> <laughs> the botch master. Oh my God. I did not. But, yeah, do tell, do tell. Um, yeah, uh, so, he's currently in a tag team with... Uh, this is in March 2021. With yes, so uh, in March 2021, he's currently in a tag team with An Helico, who's a guy who wrestled in that uh, lucha underground. So they're uh, he's the flippity doodah guy, and An Helico is quite the kind of mat based and gonna tie you up in holds. And so their tag team works in that sense, but unfortunately, um, like a fighter or a boxer who's been hit too many times, he's taken a few bumps lately and he's out of it. And then he goes up to the top rope and he goes to do his flips and he like misses really badly. Mm. It's I think it's, it's happened like two or three times in the last few months and it's 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 a little bit worrisome. Like he must be in his forties, right? He looks like Jason Mewes. <laughs> <laughs> he was also an age of you. Oh Jesus, yeah. Yeah, so he, but can he still do it? He yeah, just, yeah, okay, yeah. Okay. Like you know, like he'll do most of his spots, and they look great. And like he's had some really good matches, and I do like his tag team. But uh, I just worry that he's going to get himself hurt. That was very nice, by the way. Uh, Robert from Red Deer, Alberta, Canada. Is there any more? Is there any more overused moments in wrestling that you forgot to mention in your top ten video? Not really, like, you know, a lot of people had talked about the slammer around the world and Foley going off the top of the cell. I had intentionally let them off because I'm not sick of seeing those moments. I still enjoy them. Okay. So, no, I, I can't, I, it's pretty comprehensive, to be honest. Um, I have, so, this is not a moment, but it's Man, a spot I got a that I feel is overused. Uh, this, this may be controversial, lads. I'm sick of money in the bank. Yeah. I'm sick of it. I'm on board of that, Steve. Fair enough. Yeah, I'm bored of it. I feel like they need something else. It's only been going 16 fucking years. <laughs> <laughs> and, and they've only doubled it because they've added in the women's yeah. briefcases. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a kind of an out to get someone who otherwise wouldn't be deserving of a world title. Yeah. World title. <gasps> Holy shit. Holy God. If that was Hulk Hogan, he'd never really, like, he'd, he'd be still banging on about it. <laughs> <laughs> Nice tombstone, though. Yeah. This guy is... Well, I haven't he's seen a... good a, wrestler. Like, I haven't seen a huge amount, but he's a beast. Uh, he likes his old um, frog splashes. A, I do find it hard to look at uh, wrestlers who wear small jocks, small boots, and no knee pads. I find it yeah. weird. Yeah. It's very underwear, isn't it? Yeah. It would only be worse if you put a cap on him, then he'd look even more naked. <laughs> <laughs> Flesh colored cap. <laughs> oh, <laughs> a, a ball cap. <laughs> nice, good. Here's a great question. Mm. Neil from Greystones. Uh, yeah. What storyline or lines made you finally quit watching WWE? 
I think it was just a gradual thing that it wasn't like a storyline. Oh, this is shit. I'm I'm gonna stop watching. It was just there's nothing that's really grabbing my attention. <laughs> Fuck that. Wait. Whoa. Shit. Nice. Dang, that's it, mate. We're done. Very good. That was a pretty decent match. It was, it was it heated. Just, it, it built up. It, yeah. was, it was a bit slow starting off there. Steve, had you quit watching WWE before or after they went to three hours? Uh, before it was before, I wouldn't have survived the three hours. That was was that it for you? Uh, like, I well, mean, you still watch it, right? I watch it. I basically fast forward the things that I don't like. So basically, what I it's amazing you still watch I, modern wrestling. I'm left it's watching incredible. the things that I do like. So so it, for on me, on average, how long? How many I get minutes through, a week are you get? I get through a raw in about ninety minutes. I get through SmackDown in about an hour. Okay, AW for the most part is is a very fun watch. I really really like that show. I think you. Like I think I would too and I I would like to do that I would like to watch AEW but it's one of those things that's like oh, another TV show to watch <laughs> you know <laughs> yeah things should never feel like yeah that. yeah. Uh, I did take a break from WWE for about a year when they had the god did they have to replay his <laughs> bimble as well it, it was the Dean Ambrose versus Seth Rollins feud where they f- uh, where Dino battered the doll hmm. and I was like that's it I'm done <laughs> <laughs> I took about a year year break yeah it was so bad yeah Jay is there anything particular or just dwindled um yeah it, a lot of poor booking decisions I don't know it's just been going downhill like ever since kind of Reign of Terror in 2002 in mm. September mm. and like even when we were done that in 2005 you can kind of have an interest because there's like you know let's relaunch ECW okay that's a failure you know and a lot of bad decisions a lot of wrestlers I don't care for so it's just it's slow yeah, yeah, yeah. but I held out until kind of 2012-ish or so mm. and it's just there's nothing for me there but like I, I'll watch wrestling with whoever kind of I'll get tweeted stuff and they're like hey what do you think about that I'm like you know watch that bit mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. or like the rumble match or something I'll watch that I, I will say that did, ooh cokehead ooh. promo ooh yeah yeah <laughs> Randy, how about next I love the way he's still wearing his gimmicks. That was a one. I remember Tenru one year ago today. We burned the building down. But you beat me. One, two, three. And I don't like it. And Colby Dolby, I don't care what it is. I got you, Tenru. That's if you can get past the Road Warriors, yeah. Oh, Kogan, three-time World Wrestling Federation champion. Congratulations, yeah. What? If Tenru survives, I got you, Tenru. And I got you. And I'm gonna get you. And I'm gonna take all of you. Okay, I got it. He made me want to watch that match. Mm. Mm-hmm. He's fucking great, isn't he? <laughs> that was an understatement. And so, match number 12, it's your main event. <laughs> An SWS WWF special dream tag match. Jinichiro Tenru. And Hulk Hogan, the WWF champion, versus the Road Warriors slash Legion of Doom, Animal Warrior, and Hawk Warrior. So they're the Warriors. Uh, <laughs> Are they brothers? <laughs> well, when they're Hogan's married. around, yeah. <laughs> and uh, sadly, obviously, no to Tonka. Aw, fuck the Tonka. <laughs> Who do you like? Uh, what's going on here? A lot of, lot of meat. A lot of, lot of beef. And uh, tomorrow night... Uh, we'll have Kobe beef. <laughs> yeah. You know, it's, it sounded like Macho had a bit of a feud going with that guy. Well, yeah, he's kind of pimping tomorrow night. He's going to wrestle Tenru. He said that he lost to him last year and he's still okay. kind of he held that grudge. It's like Daniel Bryan Sheamus. Yeah, you know? <laughs> it's like that all over. Oh, oh here we go. Oh, oh, oh no, yeah. You're wearing my colors, mate. <laughs> He's got a good voice. Iron Man. Do you have tonight? 
You know something, the talk is on the streets all over Japan. The Road Warriors versus Hulk Hogan in Tenru. We're gonna give them the fight of their life. Let's take it to them. Oh, <laughs> you weren't happy with that. No. Hogan clearly couldn't get his drugs into yeah. Tokyo here, you know? That was. Yes, he, he has to go around after the show looking. Yeah. That was like shame. the most downbeat yeah. Hogan promo I've seen in ages. But he's got, what is it, the trinket, the toy. <laughs> <laughs> and he's got the Scud missiles <laughs> and the largest Patriots in the world, brother. <laughs> and here, this is, this is quite nice, though. You know, this. here we go with the main event. It's a nice kind of wide shot. Of course, if they turn on the lights so you can see the crowd, it might help, you know? Mm. Yeah, I don't get this darkness thing. Imprisoning me. <laughs> <laughs> All that I see. Um, are you... <laughs> do you think... Are you into sign, pro signs or anti signs? Uh, I'm pro. Huge pro, yeah. If you're watching on TV. <laughs> <laughs> Not if, if you're there. Not if you're behind yeah, the biggest exactly, sign yeah. there. It would be surreal being at a Japanese event, though, right? Because, you you know, you might have a couple of beers and you might feel a bit boisterous. But now nah, you're just going to be like, you know. Back in this era, they were very, like, it, it would take excellent moves mm. to get them into a match but they won't pop for like a wrestler coming out it's very, it's very strange He's got the red, white, and blue, and he doesn't even know what to do. Oh, did he just knock him off? No, there's a few people jumping up and down here. I love these streamers. Yeah. Why has that? I, it's still, it's like I probably said it about six years ago. Why doesn't someone in the Fed have the streamer gimmick? Where? Like David oh, Arquette, hey, look. Like. Look at that. Jump in visual fidelity. Yeah, yeah, it's, it, it's, it's noticeable. Jim. Thank you, sir. Uh, I'm using the uh, footage from disc two of WWE home video Road Warriors, the life and death of the most dominant tag team in wrestling history. Mm. Ooh, actually, let's just give you a bit of the commentary. What strikes you? What do you remember most about this day or this match against two huge stars like Hogan and Tenru uh, in Tokyo? Well, Jerry, you know, for one thing, it's a record crowd in Tokyo. I think it's like 63,000 people. You got Tenru, who himself... It's was uh, Joe Laurinaitis, uh, oh. Road Warrior Animal. Yeah, yeah. Uh, dubbed commentary by himself and Jim Ross. Well, let me tell you something, J.R. I was massive. I was ripped. I was so over 89,000 people. <laughs> <laughs> I lifted the 700 pounds. Uh, ten. <laughs> the people were were, were crying. <laughs> um, at WrestleMania 7, the Legion of Doom defeated Power and Glory. And, of course, in the main event, Hulk Hogan turned back Sergeant Slaughter to win the WWF title. So here we go, seven days into his reign. Yeah, and he's not enjoying life. That's a shame. Jeez, he, bit of a he does scratchy. Yeah, yeah. Is, he, is it? But is it? Is this his Japanese persona? Is this his I'm taking this seriously persona? <laughs> that's it. No personality. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Yeah. I'm not. I'm. I don't want. I'm. Not, I don't want to be here. I don't want to be here. Hey. Whoa, whoa. Oh, 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 no, no, this. Big oh, finger. Ah, oh, come on. Oh, come on. Oh, there we go. Well done. There we go. Yeah. Commentary and I lifted him up above my head, not a bother. <laughs> <laughs> he was light as a feather. Steve, uh, Mark from Dublin asks, What's your favorite movie with a wrestler in it and why? Not counting Marine Ah, <laughs> You know what? I can't think of a movie. Give me an excuse. No Holds Barred. Edge with his money plane. <laughs> like, currently, No Holds Barred is in the lead. Anything Randy else? Orton, 12 rounds, too. Oh, God, <laughs> Uh Condemned 2 with Randy Orton. <laughs> <laughs> I've never seen that. 12 Rounds 3 with Dean Ambrose. <laughs> oh, jeez. <gasps> oh, uh, 12 Hour Shift with Mick Foley and David Arquette. Ooh. I watched it on the basis of that, but they're only in it for, like, Mick Foley has about 30 seconds of the scene where this woman, she's the go-between to take kidneys from the hospital on the black market and they're going to sell them. And she, go she goes to the mobsters. And who's the mobster? It's, oh, it's Mick Foley. 
but I don't know if, if you know him, uh, just because we know Mick Foley is a lovely guy, um, I can't take him seriously because he's like, yeah, I'll fuck you up or I'll take your kidney. You know, you get it. Or, you know, and it's like, oh, you. you know? <laughs> yeah. It's like Santa Claus, you know? Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. yeah. Uh, David Arquette is in it. He's, um, he plays a convict that is put into the hospital and he's kind of chained there and he gets loose and he's going to stab you. you know? yeah. He wasn't in it far enough. Um, so it was a bit of a swerve. If you're gonna have wrestlers in it, it should be the wrestler movie. Yeah, yeah. 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 What about the wrong side of town featuring Rob Van Dam? <laughs> oh god, I really want to, I want to review that. Batista or VD? Who's just showing up as RVD? <laughs> Man, fucking. Hey, how's it going? <laughs> I showed up in the club in my shorts. <laughs> like Batty came in for a a yeah. tiny role, and he ended up stealing the movie. And getting front and center on the DVD cover. I love like, it. Rob is in the back somewhere. Yeah, yeah. Um, I do have an answer to your question. I found Ooh. one. Predator. No, that's oh, it. yeah. yeah. Ah, fucking yes. hell. Yeah. That's one of my favorite movies. Okay, yeah, completely. What about The Running Man with the same person? Mm. Yes, okay, there's two. What about Abraxas with the same person? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesse Venture. Mr. Nanny. Mr. Nanny. <laughs> <laughs> um... Yeah, it's like okay. If I'm surprised, I was racking my brain. Okay, we've got to. Yeah, that's, Predator that's good and good news. Running Man. Yeah, obviously the wrestler is a great movie. Oh yeah, with like I think it was like oh the cash or truth. Ring of Honor guys are in it. Yeah, oh, or truth is in it. Oh, he's backstage, oh. right? Yeah. Um, but like it's a great movie, but it's fucking depressing. So you know. Mm. Uh, Patrick Spoon asks even before your present day break in wrestling did you ever have lapses in being a wrestling fan before uh, he says for, for him it was mid 95 to mid 98 oh wow Hogan's bladed ooh there we go. as the double whammy of uh, the new generation and Dungeon of Doom killed his interest yeah just um, it was like 2005 to 2006 it was only a year but oh. like I, uh, like the, like the Cena. No, it was just because I didn't have time. Ah, yeah. no, it wasn't like you know. I'm I'd like yeah, Cena. you powered through the new gen, didn't you? Yeah, I did. <laughs> no, I'm pro Cena, so no, it was nothing to do with that. But um, yeah, so that that was it. God, it's so weird to see Legion of Doom like working holds. Oh shit, have you played it as rest well? holds? Hold on, turn around here, mate. Um. What was really cool about Legion of Doom is like I stopped during the new gen era, so I would have left around when the Legion of Doom left, and so when I started watching again in late '96, the Legion of Doom were there. I was like, "Fuck!" So there am I in? If you know what I mean? So that was a nice link. Were you knowledgeable about the Legion of Doom before you saw it? Well, it was a smelly mark. Like I just thought they're awesome with the face paint, yeah, and the yeah. shoulder. Oh pads. no, but were you? Did you didn't hear about? Oh, the Road Warriors are. No, no, we just got it because uh, our family got it for the football. Yeah. You know, it's like September for the September '96 season. No, nice. <laughs> like hey, Raw is on. Yeah, 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 yeah. And it was completely different and awesome. Those kicks weren't great, mate. I think there's uh, lots of like wrestling fans who watched it as kids in the '80s and '90s. Did take take a break from like '95. Mm. Uh, for for like me, uh, I stopped watching kind of late '94, early '95. I and I remember getting back into it at the Royal Rumble '98. Um, oh, okay. oh Shit, great time! Yeah, yeah. 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 Un- Cold un- stone. Unfortunately, <laughs> it did mean that I missed '97. <laughs> the year of our of our Jay, like. yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh man, what a great year! Incredible. It's amazing. It's like work rate. Nah, we'll just play. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it. Yeah. That's the storyline. <laughs> just played. It's amazing seeing a tag wrestler versus the main event, Hulk Hogan. It's surreal. Oh, the back rake, Jay. Bite the fingers over. <laughs> I love this. Like, it's so weird. Because you wouldn't, you never got it in WWF. Like, uh, Hogan would just wrestle two singles. You know? Yeah. Mm. Like, you wrestle it. Singles wrestlers beating tag teams is one of my absolute pet hates. I fucking hate it. In a handicap match. Yeah, fucking despise it. Who were you thinking of when you sent them? Uh, I remember The Rock beat the Dudley boys on SmackDown when he was world champion and they were tag champs. Fucking buried them. <laughs> Smashed them. Yeah. <laughs> Chris Dante of Dante Fires. <laughs> <as>, uh, <laughs> uh, 
Come on, mate. Just lost the point of blood. <laughs> um, he's just wondering, what do you think about Raven? Yeah, your name? Big yay. No, have, have, we, have we been down on Raven before? I, I know think? I'm not a big Raven fan. Okay. Yeah. Wait, wait do you mean like TNA Raven? Uh, just all... Oh, really? Raven, yeah. Um, having gone back and watched Dub some of his... Enjoy that one. The, yeah. the, the old dub spot. Yeah. Double down. Double clothesline, take a break. Yeah, having gone gone back and watched some of the stuff from ECW and WCW just to get it for like splicey, this stuff doesn't fly anymore. Like it's kind of lame. This kind of angsty uh, thirty year old. <laughs> it was really big in the early nineties, like with um, Brandon Lee. Um, yeah, Crow. Yeah. The Crow, yeah, yeah, yeah that yeah. kind of thing. Yeah, yeah, it was really huge back then. No, I thought it was amazing. Yeah, like, I was so good. angry in 2000 when he wasn't yeah. being pushed to do the volume I wanted him push. Yeah. I will say that when he came to the Fed and wasn't pushed, I was pissed off. Because like I, I did see that he could have been, like I don't know if he could have been a top, top guy, but could have been like an upper mid carder, like a Jericho level guy, easily. Yeah, I think that's a great spot for him actually. Yeah. Could have had a, you know, I know they'd done, he had already had a couple of stables, could have done another one. He was like, oh yeah, that's a dated gimmick, but at the time, but still, the there was room for it. Yeah, I loved it. I thought, like even in WCW, he's one of the wrestlers. You look at him, and it looks like he's got. There's something going on. There's a lot going on beneath than what we're just seeing at surface level. So it's really cool. Yeah. Yeah. This is how you know Hulk Hogan is <laughs> in Japan. <laughs> the drop toe hold. <laughs> Answer me this, right? So he he obviously thinks he's a great wrestler, and but he's holding back. Why doesn't he do... It's a drop toe hold for fuck's sake. Why doesn't he do that in WWE? Because the rest... And the commentators could put it over and look at a great wrestler here. Yeah. He doesn't have to. Yeah, yeah. That was it. He can be just as over and make just as much money by... Not taking it. By, yeah, 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 by yeah, doing yeah. punches, running okay. lariats and going... <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> oh God, this is how it's going to end, isn't it? It's going to be like a count date. Ah, uh, you sir? No. I feel like that... Is, like... Hogan's not jobbing. Road Warriors aren't jobbing. <laughs> or taking chair shots. Yeah. Down he goes. I do like this kind of scrum height, you know? Do you? Yeah. Do you not think it looks like... It's very They're dug-out. filming and you know? yeah. like, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Give everyone pipes. <laughs> So much Lord of the Rings lately. <laughs> ah, yeah, that's enough. Like, that's the end of no. the day. <laughs> Until we do Schmaug. Schmaug. <laughs> Schmaug. By the way, I do want to do Schmaug. 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 Again, a very unique situation back in 91. Four ultra popular competitors oh, pitted against <laughs> each other. And, uh, it's grand his pit crew will happen. <laughs> Not enough jumpsuits in He's <laughs> <It's laughs> like the fucking uh, spirit squad. Yeah. Ooh. By the way, I really liked that gimmick. Uh, I thought they were like like a fun faction. Um, but I think most people absolutely hated them. I think so, yeah. yeah. I think maybe they're pushed beyond their means. Like they shouldn't be feuding with DX. Like they're but just. Who else is DX going to job out? Uh, rated or KO? Yeah, but they can't job, job, like make them, <laughs> you know. <laughs> they smash them. Beat yeah, them. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, like, I mean, look, Triple H and HBK just wanted to make fools of people, so the Spirit Squad were there and available. It's so sad that they were jobbed out so hard that some of the people literally left the wrestling business. Really? Yeah, I know your man Johnny, is it Johnny Jeter? Just left, he was done. Oh, what, what about uh, Kenny? Kenny your Dyson, boy. My, my boy, my tip for the very very top <laughs> seriously like uh, and what did they give him they gave him a Mickey ferret. James he got <laughs> that's very sweet they he came him. out with John Morrison they gave him a ferret <laughs> <laughs> uh, I knew it was over uh, there fucking ferret <laughs> <laughs> Jesus there's no hope no is he Is he? I assume he left wrestling as well oh Nice. I think so. Yeah. And fucking Zigglypuff, the only one to really make it out of yeah. them all. Yeah. Kinder got turned on and off. 
yeah, 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 he looked like a he looked like a switch, all right. <laughs> oh, <laughs> bit, bit, bit of a kick punch a going on. Yeah. Hogan, and, and now you um, find yourself. Oh, oh Jesus Hogan. Hogan. Bottom of the ninth yeah. inning, face to face with the immortal Hogan. I'm telling you, you can't let your guard down with these guys. They will capitalize. Ready for it. There you go, big leg drop. And and one, two. Oh, oh okay. okay. Burned your tank there, mate. But just going back to the, the infamous Rory drop toe hold, right? Yeah. Is, is that too to much of a bump for Hogan uh, to take in America? Shoulder, huh? Like, it's not even a bump. Exactly. Like so He's just slowly getting to the ground. Yeah. Here we go. Got to make Tenru do the job. Very safe doomsday yeah. device. Well done, lads. It yeah, is, no flipping, like, mate. Yeah. It is. We, yeah, I, I don't like the one. Here we go. Flip, it's dangerous. There we go. That has to be it, mate. <laughs> <laughs> it's just <laughs> going on, is it? Is that a real happening? Yeah. There you go. Hogan bringing that chair into the... Uh, He's like, you can't be DQ'd. I need to be in the shots when you win. <laughs> <laughs> <Don't> you? <laughs> <laughs> you guys can settle this inside or out. We're gonna, the battle's going to continue here. God, this is a very non-Japanese main event, isn't it? The, the kind of walk and brawl. Uh, this is kind of like late 90s wrestling. And we're going to start running it up. Obviously, this is the main event here. Um, Dark Tone from Middlesex, London. If you were approached to do a movie on your life, who would play you, and what genre of movie would you like to be? Toss up between Tom Cruise and George Clooney. Uh, obviously. Uh, <laughs> Eve Schreiber. Yeah, you kicking him. Oh out, right, no, I go with Leave. I go with Leave. He's a handsome guy. Um, and but like, get him to commit first, and then ask the other two. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then obviously the storyline. It's an epic. It's about a man of honor. Uh, carrying his two friends on his back for <laughs> 10 years. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, I can't carry the ring for you, <laughs> but I can carry <laughs> you. <laughs> brother, 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 where art thou? <laughs> A bloody brawl in Tokyo. On March 30th, 19. There you go, so we just threw out the match. That's it. None of oh, us, none of us lose, yeah. Ow! There goes a the young boy. Ow! Young boys trying to come in and young boys. I hate when they call them young boys. It's a great it's term. So <laughs> it's, 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 it's creepy. But it's creepy. It's yeah. it's creepy, but it's not because it's it's uh, it's homely almost in Japan, isn't it? So the aftermath. Oh, here's a good one, Steve. Justin from upstate New York. Oh, see, what is your hottest take that shocked V1 and J? What is a hottest take? Like your opinion on something that makes people go, huh? <laughs> uh, that shot us? Yeah. Mm. Like, I'd need to think about that. Exactly it's, it's probably going to be movie based. What, yeah, the, the wind was a pretty big one. <laughs> yeah, that I quite liked the happening, probably. Happening, yeah. Equilibrium. No, yeah, I don't think you were shocked by that. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I was shocked by it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Um, Brilliant. Great thing about um, you know putting these podcasts out and other people hear them is like you, even years later we'll still get feedback on it. And someone was like, "Oh yeah, so I managed to get a hold of the script to uh, the happening. It says here page eighty two, and then the wind menacingly blows." <laughs> it's like there you go, put it the rest. So the wind, the wind I can't even remember anymore. Does that mean I'm right? It does mean I'm right because the wind was in on it and it was blowing the toxic. It was it was yeah. evil wind. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah well, that's what we were fighting about. Was the wind in on it? Yeah, and I said it was. I think. How can the wind be in on it? Surely plants are in. It. Like it makes no. But the sense. wind was blowing the toxin from the plants towards the people. But like, how can the, the wind the be a co them? How, how can that it? be a conscious <laughs> being? You know. Because well, how can a toxin be a conscious being? Well, it's, it's not. It's, it's the plants. Yeah, yeah, the plants are. <laughs> Shit, it's happening God. again. It's happening. <laughs> there we go. And a Hulk Hogan here at CSA. Are we going to get like a sad Hogan promo like we got be before the match? Look at this. He's done for the face. Night. Look at him. Yeah. Wait, what happened? He didn't even hot dog. He's having none of it. He was like, I fulfilled my contractual obligation. No, I'm telling you, this is his Japanese it's persona. Japanese character. I am serious. Or 
I'm a cunt. No, I'm a serious wrestler. That's that's the persona here. I'm other, telling you. Other wrestlers say cheers, thanks. You know. Yeah, but he's too good for that. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. You've already paid your money, so there yeah, you go. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> And so, jeez, there you go. That's the, our whole um, OSW 98, our watch along of SWSWF WrestleFest in Tokyo Dome. Uh, Was think? it our worst watch along? Uh, I think not. And that's only a good thing. <laughs> <laughs> only be a good thing. Sir, so one of three. Yeah. Um, no, I really enjoyed this. Yeah. That was great crack. Um, kind of like the, the chatting with the fans, kind of through the medium of questions. I would have loved to invite kind of. Um, Facebook, Twitter, YouTube. It's just that if we do that, I'll have thousands, thousands of questions. I'm sure we'll only get to like 50 or something. So yeah. There you go. Hmm. But there you go. If people enjoy this one, <laughs> look at that. I got your heat. <laughs> um, but they never lost their no, heat. <laughs> no, this is a replay. <laughs> <laughs> replay. Anyway, yeah, if you, if you actually enjoy this one, uh, we'll do... Uh, there's actually a second SWS show. We've only got to do two. <laughs> oh, me meow. So, yeah, if you want to see another one, give us a honk in the comments. Give us a honk. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. So, this is, this is episode 99? No, 98. Okay. Oh, wait. Yeah, yeah. So, something else for yeah, you know, for just, uh, we haven't even talked about episode 100. Well, we have, but I've rejected your suggestion. No dub. Yeah. Steve, big heel. I no know, dub for WrestleMania. Ten years, WrestleMania Steve. WrestleMania 100. <laughs> <laughs> it's 60 years. Yeah, <laughs> Steve. 65 <laughs> years. <laughs> <laughs> Give us the tapes. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, that's interesting. Episode 100 coming up. I was thinking that episode. So this is episode 98. We could do episode 99. Just like do a one-off. And episode 100 would be a one-off and then after that we could start a new work so i was thinking we could just do whatever you guys are interested in yeah. okay okay so this will be my choice because i really wanted to watch this and fart around so <laughs> <laughs> well i've had my choice last so steve you're next oh yeah the hobbit well that would just be 99 then 100 should be a joint decision yeah i agree okay, okay. should we put up a poll for the fans then? yeah yeah, yeah. For the so we you can, fans. Uh, we can, you can do Predator, or you can do Terminator 2, <laughs> or you can do uh, <laughs> Desolation of Shmaro. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. So what will episode 99 be? We don't know. You'll have to find out next time on OSW Review. So it's a goodbye from V1. Take a fucking boo. And OSE. We do. Thank you to all of our Naga U fans. Thank uh, you. For submitting questions. And your boy, Jay Hunter. And remember... A winner is you. <laughs> <laughs>